Hello, 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 4,000 plus subs, holy moly, never ever thought I'd get that high like that at all, wow, that's a lot, thank you very much everybody for whew, hitting that subscribe button, we got 13, 14,000 views I think it's on Commodore Boone Returns, man, must really like that video a lot. Keep up the good work, everybody. Appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, hitting the likes. Hit the old thumbs up. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Who we got in the chat up here? We got one person, Taylor Swift. Uh, let's move my little logo guy here so I can see. Ha, <laughs> ha. Yeah, Taylor Swift. Uh, yeah, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? He's got a waving person. All I see is words. I don't see the actual person, but I see waving, waving person all the way, all the way down there. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yeah, so, whew, 4,000 subs. Never, ever thought he'd get that far. Never, ever thought ever get that far. Keep on repeating, right? Hey, LDG, congrats on the 4K, bud. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was going to have Mikey here, but he's over at Gorilla's Plays. And Matt is faced with a big old nasty lightning storm, so I don't think he wants to be on a line when that's going on. He might get barbecued. He might, you know, I can't do as good because... <laughs> The best I can do is, is that good enough being, being, being shocked? <laughs> oh, I sent a lot of links. So if you got a link to pop up on panel, hey, come on on board and talk about Star Trek or whatever. It's hard to tell. So there you go. Uploading progress, 86, 80s. I don't know what, the, what that sucker's doing. <laughs> so what's new, everybody? Yeah. Man, I've been watching numbers for the past months and just keep rising and rising and rising. So, we got all kinds of stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can get this one. I got to make a video on this one these days. Every time I get ready to do it, something always comes up. So, there is a thing down below, you know. Hey, we got this in my mailbox, you know. Haven't got around to that yet. And now we got the communicator. We got to get going on that too someday. What do you think? Should I do both same time or one separate? I might just do both same time or I don't know. Let's do them separate. But I like to get them out of the package so I can use them in the, in the fan film production. So get the actual communicator and got the actual phaser. Well, those are on hold until the meantime, and I'm still working on that uh, clipboard thingamajiggy. I mean, I got things for that there as well. Uh, Sci-Fi Sudan? Hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah. Send me a message through Facebook, and I'll send you a link. You can, I'll pop you up here. I can't find you. You said that we're friends, but I can't find you at all. So there you go. Here on 10K. and <laughs> Oh, well, we ain't, we ain't at 10K yet, but one of these is. <laughs> and Lady V. Howdy, Lady V. What's up? What's up? Howdy, howdy. Hope everybody's having a good day. And Lady V says, hey, LDG. And Dan as well. Hey, there you go. Cover all bases. <laughs> so I looked on Facebook. I can't find him. He's over there floating around somewhere. Like I said, send me a message. I'll send you a link and go from there. 
Got nobody else up here, just me, myself, and I in the lime green shirt. Yeah. I got a blue shirt underneath here. Man, the temperature is going to drop tonight. It's going to be in the freaking 30s. Man, I thought wintertime was over with. And Lady B says, hey, Taylor, what's up? Yeah, there you go. And Sci-Fi says, hello, Lady V. Everybody's saying hello to each other. Check everybody out. Check out everybody's uh, channels. Hit the subscribe button. Everybody. Hey, make sure you're still subscribed to me, too. You never know. Oh, this thing must be uploading while I'm doing a live, which is kind of a little weird. Hmm. Oh, I hear a ping going on, so I'll upload this link here, and must be on Facebook. All right. Oh, okay. No wonder I can't find him. I'm looking for under his name, not his other name. I ain't saying it. So I'll send him a link over there, and hey, it's stuck. It's stuck like glue, man. It's on its way. There you go. Will 5,000 be next week? 6,000 the following week? We don't know. I have no idea. All I know is just climbing. You know, it's, it's, I always thought when you, you, you have uh, subscribers, you know, you have that mountain guy with the pick and he climb real slow. Now, this damn thing must have got a rocket pack. He's flying up the mountain like crazy. Damn it, man. Hopefully he don't fall on his head again. <laughs> Smiley faces. There we go. <laughs> yeah. That 4K is a task. Well done, Jim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All I did is put a good video out and everybody likes it. But I have a theory about, about that. And I try to say it before, but Mikey, Mikey's not here, so I can tell you the story. <laughs> There's another fan film out there that uh, made made uh, bad remarks about Comrade Boone. And it's like, you got to be kidding me. And another one made another film of Comrade Boone clear of all charges for what he supposedly did. Supposed to maroon a guy on a planet and... Take control of the ship and transfer it. That's some like garbage. But anyhow, cleared of all charges. And I got approval from the owner that has the, that made the name Commodore Boone and the EOS says, Hey Jackson, I made a video myself. Commodore Boone returns. And man, as soon as that's, that video was out, it, it only got 343 views. And all of a sudden, it just climbing up the ladder. I wonder if everybody found all three videos and put together. That's my theory. That's what I think's what happened. But there's another Commodore Boom vi uh, video coming up down the line. Will it still be the same? Will that take off like uh, a guy with a jetpack on climbing a mountain? I guess we'll have to find out when I get that sucker done. And other videos are in the works over there. Get them done and see what's going on. But, uh, dang. It's it's incredible uh, what's happening. I mean, dang. I mean, I'm back to my full-time job right now, so I don't spend a whole lot of time on here getting stuff done. Uh-oh. 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 Stand by. Stand by. And there he is, the big S. <laughs> what do you, what do you think of that? Huh? Hello, Admiral Shepard. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Mm. I'm not used to the streaming service. That's why. I'm used to yeah, streaming. Yeah, every, 
Everybody has a hard time with the audio on this. I don't know why. That's why I was trying to find your uh, thing on Facebook so you can come up you know, early or during the day or whatever. Seems like everybody came up, has no issues. Well, I shouldn't say that. Matt had one little issue. Took a few minutes, got it fixed. Another person came up, and it wasn't pretty, but no audio. It's my fault that he has no audio, so he ain't here tonight, but ain't my fault. You got to learn how to run that computer to change audio. Not my well, fault, right? Well, depending how long Grill's live stream is, he, um, Mikey may come in like an uh, hour or so. Yeah, they usually have maybe an hour and a half, two hour video uh, thing over there. As soon as Ann gets home, I'll be getting off because uh, these dogs will be uh, barking or you know what's off, and I gotta go upstairs anyhow and spend time up there. So this might hopefully ain't gonna be a five and a half hour stream like the other one was. <laughs> that was a long ass stream, but I got my theory out this time about Mikey interrupting me. Yay! I like teasing Mikey. I like him a lot. He he he's a good guy. Yeah. So what's up? Uh, and now we all can understand him with his new laptop. Well, you know, for about a year he couldn't get out too good. He's got a lot to talk about now. He's got, he's got a lot of uh, a lot of time that he's got to get caught up on. So I, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you something here. Yeah, you, you got to hear it. You can't see it. I told Mikey if he comes up and starts interrupting people, he's going to hear this. And that don't work. I'll throw him in a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I didn't do it. What do you think of that? <laughs> For a zinger? <laughs> yeah. See, with Streamlabs here, I got 10 sound effects I can do. Uh, the maximum on this one here is 300 megabytes of putting videos up. Stream la uh, stream yards. You know, those two stream per uh, services can give you tongue-tied. They only give you 100 megabytes. I got three. I got three times as much over here. I'm paying $145 a year for this versus $200 with StreamYards, which is a better value. This one, but I'm used to StreamYards, though. Plus, I know. Plus, StreamYards are kind of like my first major uh, yeah. supply when it comes to making YouTube videos. So was mine. It just came down to cost. And I can do up to 24 people up here, but it's going to be in, in pages. And someone asked me, what do you mean pages? I said, well, I guess you put so many people in different pages. And I don't know. I, I don't understand it myself. But I know I can have 12 people up here and uh, 3,000 stream. We had, my, we had a little issue of maybe bringing one person up, but they never came up. Matt left early. So this time that won't happen. I can handle 12 people up here with no problem. Well, if you want to get if you want to get a chatter box here, you, you can try to get uh, Scotty up here if he's available to come up. I sent him links already. I'm waiting on him to beam up, and everybody's gonna go through the same process. Red alert, transporter, and you're here. <laughs> so, I try to make it fun over here. So, uh, besides making Trek uh, fan films, have you been mowing lawns a lot nowadays? Yeah, I I mowed my own today. Mm. Well, hopefully I got everything I got everything done in five days. We had threats of rain and everything. Uh, threats of rain. Yeah. Well, don't but, over well, don't overexert yourself. Yeah, I I do all right by myself. I'm old, but I I can manage. No problem. I got stuff done. I I just take a lot of breaks. <laughs> I mean, when you're on winter break and you sit here and you eat stuff like this, 
and like this. Keep it on the panel. Put this on, and when you go out there, you're huffing and puffing. One person thought that I had COPD or whatever. I'm like, no, nope, I don't have COPD. I'm just a fat man trying to work outside. That's all. Oh, man. So how how much have you lost so far? Not much. Mm-hmm. So your body's used to it, so it, it, it can't burn off your extra stuff as fast as it used to be? Takes time. Uh, any other time, it would take up to two months. I have noticed since Anne's been living upstairs and I've been climbing steps a lot, it's not going to take as long to get back in shape again. So that's a plus. That's good. I mean, that, that's that been a plus. Uh, that's been a long time. It usually takes two months to get back in shape. I mean, shit, you're out there mowing, grab the trimmer, or start it, keep on trimming. Now I, I start trimming. I get halfway around the house, and, man, I got to take a break. Take a couple-minute break, then I got to trim the rest of it up, and another break, and just trim the other, another break. And people's like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I just take that. Yeah, but my point is, is Jim, is that if you work out a lot and yet you put on the pounds still, you may your body's used to all the workout and you will yeah. lose a lot of weight yeah. that way. Well, I've been doing it this way ever since I started mow grass. It's always been the same thing. Uh, when I used to work for other companies, now it's a different story. I mean, you go to, you do your, that's like snow plowing. I get up at two o'clock in the morning, go and do snow plowing, get done by four o'clock in the morning, go to, a full-time job, get done, go back out and hit more snow. Same way with summertime. You have a full-time job, you get done, you grab the truck, go out, mow to to dark. Watch, right now, I've been on my own for the past oh, 24 years now on my own, but I've been mowing for 44 years. Well, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to be bossed around by your boss since you're your own boss now. Well, my boss is real butthead sometimes, but, you know, it's me, myself, and I, and it's like, you know, it's funny when you sit, when you stand there and you argue with yourself three ways. <laughs> <laughs> Man, doing all these jokes, I should be hitting this. <laughs> Damn it. So, you've seen the TOS and Next Gen Eras Mania Star Trek is what you're a fan of? I mostly I grew up with TOS, but I watch every Star Trek out there, every single one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I myself, I'm I watched about half of DS9, um, most of Voyager, and most yeah. of Enterprise. I liked Enterprise because Enterprise showed showed us what it, how everything started. That was basically the basic in the basic of the whole show. Problem. Too much newer technology was in that ship. It was great. But from when Enterprise came out to 1966, when when TOS came out, the original series, technology was so limited back then. Yeah, well, call me an action-oriented guy, but I found the first few seasons of Enterprise boring as hell. It was boring. I didn't think it was, but everybody's got different strokes for different TV series. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I, I don't like this drum here at all. It's so dull. I like this one better. Just gotta hit it more often. Just don't become a drum head now. We also got laughter. <laughs> and, yeah. if you, and if you say something funny, we got. Well, I'll, I'll give you the clap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got terrible jokes. That's why. Here's. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much all the sounds. Laughter. Got the one and two clap. You no. Know. Yeah, something to play with over here. It's not so boring. 
So, does, does this streaming service have a backstage like StreamYards, or is it a little different? Same thing as StreamYards. It's just more stuff to play with. Um, if you're on the basic for StreamYards, or if you're paying for it, you're only allowed one co-host. I can do five. With no problem. Only thing that the co-host can't do is go live. I think on StreamYards that you can, what's the highest uh, mod, whatever, do they go live? I think they do. I'm not too sure how that works. I only got one person on StreamYards that is my co-host, but I got five. I, well, I really got me me and Matt on here. There's only two of us, so I got three available slots but really gotta be trustworthy for you to be a co-host speaking of which uh, boogers in the house booger oh i haven't been watching the chat no i'm sorry <laughs> bring up the darn uh, let's see let's see where where was we at earlier oh okay i didn't mean to uh, ignore the chat here just kept on chit-chatting here Congratulations on 4K. Seems like just yesterday we had a donut. Yeah, a donut. It really it looks like a donut. Yeah. <laughs> Lady V says, hey, booger. Yeah, there you go. And booger says, hey, Lady Z. Uh, hey, Lady. <laughs> Lady Z. And your brain just boop, 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 going out to town here. In the best Jerry Lou's voice, I can Munster. There you go. Lady B says, Crussy. It looks like. Hey, hey, cool. it's me, Crussy the Clown. Come on down, boys. It looks like a Zoom meeting. Why? Because we got a box around us? But the box around us, like this, we know we're being transmitted. I haven't seen his box yet. Boy, that's bad. <laughs> uh, hold on. Um, I gotta go. Uh, someone's talking to me. I'll be right back. Yeah. Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. You got that right. You, I, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll give you 100% on that one. And Booger says, the landscaping jokes are really landing tonight. Yeah, well, I don't do any landscaping. I cut grass for a living. So, I don't get on my knees and all that, my knees won't allow it. So that just doesn't work. I can see the NX01 as a ship that came before NC uh, uh, 1701D. Well, uh, Enterprise D was about 200 years in the future. So if you had the NX-01, the next ship, which was called Enterprise, would be NCC-1701, which would be from the original series. Then you got the Enterprise B, C, then the D down the road. But that's down the road on that there. Hey, Jim, like, I got this nice, delicious piece of cake right here. Oh, man. I, I, I don't <laughs> You sucker. <laughs> But then again, I'm fat, so I, I, need, I need my sweets. Hey, well, hey, I got a bag of chips right here, man. <laughs> and I got my uh, cherry Coke here. And I got some peppermint mocha coffee. Yeah. And Lady V says, uh, I like rain. Well, I don't when I'm cutting grass. I don't like it. And Booger says, uh, Zoom remarks was when you were saying you could have 24. I can have 24 in my panel, but it's going to be like in different pages, whatever. That's what they said. I'm just, re I'm just repeating what they said. So I never had 24. I barely had eight up here. I know on StreamYards, I had 10. Four times, I think, uh, of all the gears I've been with uh, Stream Yards, 
I mean, I like stream yards. Don't, don't get me wrong, but this one's more cheaper. You got more bell, bells and whistles here to, to have. I mean, just like when people come up, red alert, beam them up. I might change that down the road because uh, kind of pressing on time a little bit. I'm like, well, we'll just put transporting in there for now, but we might change it down the road. So watch out for that. You know, just like a fan film. You put something out and you go, I think we can do better. And that's what we do. Um, Jim, uh, can you put, does this stream allow you to put on an avatar if you don't have a camera or not? Unfortunately, on this one here, you not allowed to have an avatar, I guess. They ask you to pay for, which is kind of weird, which over at StreamYards, you can have avatars, but I think it, uh, I think you, if you go down, to, if you have settings in that side, that's where the avatar is at. Some people have found, found a way around it, like, um, uh, damn it. Boomer. Well, Boomer found a way around it. And Matt, if they was up here, they would tell you how to do it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here we go. See, I got my avatar right there. The Admiral's in the house. Hope she ain't back this early, damn early. <laughs> well, we're have the dog food and wet food ready to feed them. Yeah, really. What tell stream me, program is this? Streamlabs. Tell me, uh, are they picky on what they eat, or do they eat anything you give them? They eat anything. Any damn thing. I mean, they eat paper, plastic, food. Uh, I had a trimmer string. They didn't eat it, but they chopped it up in little tiny small pieces. I had uh, 3M double tape, old stuff, not very sticky. They chewed that up. Anything. Bones, raw hides, anything. Leather belts. Brand new. A brand new Star Trek 2 belt that goes on. They chewed the sucker up. $40 belt down the drain. Well, if they eat bones, just make sure they don't cause problems coming up the other end for them. Well, you got to see when they eat. I put paper towels on when they do messes and that. Everybody does that. And I do pick them up, but they do get a hold of a paper towel and they eat the paper towel. Then when they do it number two, it's all nice and wrapped up. <laughs> it is crazy. You'd think they wouldn't do that, but they do do it. Security, security's on. Yeah. No one's home. We're just starting here. God darn it. It's only been a half an hour. Yeah, speaking of which, I may want to check Pop's uh, schedule if he's doing a stream in probably yeah, I, today. Yeah, he's doing one at 9 o'clock, I think. Yeah. I should be off by that time or earlier. It's hard to tell when well, she... Well, it depends on how much we chat up here. Huh? That depends on how much we chat up here. Try again. That depends how much we chat up here. Oh, okay, but, chat up here. Well, I had the beepy noise and that. You know, when you're old, you're, the sound only focus on one thing, not everything else anymore. Well, when you're young and full of spunk and everything, you can hear everything out in the world. Old guys are like, what? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very single-minded to, to not put it very bluntly. Tell me about Yeah. So, have you ever thought about any more about being in the fan film? Um, yes, but I have to um, activate my new bank card because uh, uh, um, my bank card was uh, actually yeah. um, charged and and what did not and my card my bank uh, thought it was a scam, so I had to get a new bank card. And I got activated. Damn. I just hope that this new card works and doesn't um, get get denied yeah. a lot online. But that's the problem with having a debit card uh, from your bank, though. Yeah, I could show you a one-minute video of what we do over here. So this is from uh, Commodore Boone Returns. It's only a minute long. 
which took me six hours to make. Who's that guy? Wow, Commodore Boone's calling me. It's been a while since I heard that name. It's been a while. It sure has. Maybe he's contacting me to thank me for cleaning up his quarters. That's pretty messy. I don't like a dirty quarters. I like a clean one very well. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, uh, hmm. Put Commodore Boone on the main screen, please. Thank you. Captain Shepard, how are you today? <laughs> Commodore Boone, it's a pleasure. I'm doing fine today. How can I help you? Captain Shepard, you guy? and I have something in common, especially a certain Vulcan ambassador. Interesting. Really? Well, I I thought the old... Ain't it interesting? Yeah. Really? Well, I, I thought that the Tibia would have been mistaken for Santa Claus with those two beards. Well, Commodore Boone is uh, what I was told by the original creator, and he still is, says he's got to have a beard. <laughs> That's why Commodore Boone is. He's got to have a beard. No matter what kind of beard. But he's gotta have a beard. So I ordered the cheapest damn thing I could find, and that was it. You're damn lucky I didn't use the glasses. Uh, I got the beard and I got glasses too. I might do that next time. Then you'd really be laughing. Well, then I'll be a total new character then. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, it took me six hours to make that. I wrote my little script out and everything, and I did one at a time. Man, that was a long time. I did another one that no one has seen yet. It's a continuation of that little talk that they're doing. It took me 12 hours, a lot more shorter time, on a four-minute video. Yeah, um, um, I, I, I saw while making slideshows on my computer that... Yeah. It took me easily 12 hours to just make a, a eight minute long video because I had to get the pictures in the right area on the right text yeah. area and see what the hell I'm trying to say to them to give them a visual reference. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I could show you the second part. No one's seen that yet. That video ain't coming out whenever we get the rest of it done. The other, a few other actors, we got ideas and everything. But I got my part. Talking back and forth, got that done. Like I said, 12 hours. Looks great. Very proud of it. It's just so uh, editing is like I said before when PvP was thinking about doing an editing. It's so much fun. Yeah, very sarcastic, huh? It is so much fun. Yeah, and you never get tired of it. No, you would know, no. do it all day, all night. Yeah. It's just that it is long. I mean, you're up here like what, what I just showed you. I got to piece together everything. I got to get one actor doing his thing to another. I got to shrink him down and throw him in a screen. <laughs> you know, all that takes time. Hmm. Uh, engineer's log. Today, my captain wants me to check out the warp engine cells. Question is... Are they starred up? Is there any dark, any antimatter in them for me to check them out? According to him, he wants me to do warp twelve today, which is impossible unless I, um, what what's the term called? Uh, MacGyver my way through this. <laughs> uh, Booger says, "I love some of the fan films that." has come out. I love to see someone making Battle ba battle Cruiser uh, Vengeance episodes. Well, I've only been editing for a year, so uh, <laughs> that might be a little bit harder, don't I? Oh, 
we got somebody else down in the basement. Uh oh, you know what we gotta do? Red alert! Red alert! And he did a oh he did a killjoy and transport. He beamed himself up. <laughs> Damn it, man! Did, uh, did you fall on your head again? Booger says that was a Klingon show. The characters in a final reflection watch. Okay. There you go. Uh, Matt, you, you may want to test out your mic. I did not hear you for a second. You may want to test out your mic some more. Check one. Yeah, it's, it's messed up. Uh, I can do that for him. I. I can boost his mic up. Check, Try again. Check. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, we, we we can hear you, but just barely tell uh, Jim cranked up your volume on his end. That's, That's one nice thing. About that stuff. That's one nice thing about this one. The picture's over in the side over here, and I got all controls right at my fingertips. Well, stream yards, you gotta go to settings and all this. It's right, it's right in front of your fingertips on this one. Yeah, this so, one right here changes your settings every time you get yeah. it. Yeah, that's why a lot of people don't like it. But oh, it's so much fun when they come up and your audio don't work. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Watch this. It's only four minutes long. At the continuation of what we just seen. Yes, Captain. It is interesting. But I also have a friend on Vulcan on the High Command. And he has informed me that Jaffo has refused the Vulcan way and will not be going through the coronar. Hmm. Why is that? Well... Jaffo just don't want to do the Vulcan way anymore. He refused the coronar, and I'm afraid he might be coming after you and I. Are you saying he's coming after you and I? Really? Might be. Really? So he got bent on his sheep? Yeah. Well, one thing I can say is deal with it. Maybe he maybe he don't know if he's coming or going. <laughs> yep. It sure does sound like it, don't it? Mm-hmm. What do we do? We said a word that the Vulcan ambassador didn't like? Really? I can't help but he didn't like it. It's just a word. Don't need to get ticked off about it. Yep. It's really crazy. Well, Captain. Keep your eyes and ears open, because you never know who's watching you. Well, I said it before. Jaffa don't know if he's coming or going. Right, but I'd still say, watch your back, because you never know who's going to be coming up behind you. You never know who's watching you. You just don't know what's going on out there. So, keep your eyes and ears, everything open, and just watch your back. Really? What do we do now? Anyway, Captain, you and I need to pull our resources together and find out what Jaffo's up to. Yep, you're right. Maybe he fell on his head again. Captain, it was great talking to you. Thank you for cleaning my quarters. It looks great. Also, like I keep saying, Keep your eyes peeled, watch your back, and be aware of your surroundings. Aye, aye, Commodore Boone. Take care of yourself, and watch your back. You never know who's watching you. <laughs> yeah, just like you said. Mm. Captain Duke Shepard, commanding USS JLS, out. Commodore Boone, out. 
Wait, what? Oh, so what do you guys think about that one? It was okay. Just okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's more to come. Uh, trust me. Me and Matt's been talking. A couple other actors been talking about continuing on from there. There's a few things that I've written down. I'm like, well, we don't know when that's going to come out, but we got uh, we got plenty of ideas for it. Um, uh, Admiral Shepard, do you just want a red shirt the way I do with my, my recording, or do you want a Star Trek red shirt with a with the Star Trek logo on it when I do my, my recording? Uh, just like you've seen Boone and Shepard, regular Star Trek emblem, just like from the original series. It well, doesn't I'm matter not. if it's from Strange New Worlds or JJ Universe, as I call it. doesn't matter. I have red shirts from uh, Strange New Worlds, uh, AJ Universe. I got them all. As long as they're in the, the, the TOS era, doesn't matter what what it looks like. Every character would, you know, have a different type of uniform. Some will have deltas all the way down the sleeves, and some just have the plain shirts from back in 1966. But yeah, they got to have the the regular Xenia on there. I don't have my own Xenia. I just figured, eh, hell, that's what they had in the show back in the in the late 60s. Why not just keep using that? You know. Yeah, you know, well, my point is, I got a red shirt in my closet I can use to do recordings, but there's no Star Trek emblem on it, which means I got I got to buy one on Amazon. Well, can you sell? Um, I probably can, but I have to uh, look up the image of the emblem and then try to sew it into the shirt. Oh, it's easy. I mean, you go to eBay, Star Trek emblem. You get one from the from the sixties. You get it. Some of them's got the glue in the back. You take a hot iron to it. You put a um, something across the top of. It. I don't know how they do it. So or you, some of some of them's got a magnet. Got a magnet plate goes behind it. You got those. It well, it goes those, behind it blocks. those are more expensive. They're ten to fifteen dollars yeah. for that. The emblem's only five bucks. But if you just put it on there and you just uh, put a little heat to it, it'll stick right on there. Uh, when you see uh, Chief Engineer Red, when he's got the mask, he's got the emblem on there. That's all heated on, all glued on. So you don't have to worry about it. So, Admiral, so where are your medals uh, or, or your ribbons to say that you had accomplishments as an Admiral? Where do you have your medals or ribbons on you? Well, I'm just in plain clothes at night. <laughs> I have a red TOS shirt with with the trick gold braid. No medals on it. Now, only one I got medals on is a uh, dress dress uh, shirt dress uniform that I got from eBay that time. And he said, Guys, uh, "I got oh, another line of storms coming toward me. I'm probably uh, gonna have to get off of here again." All right. He said it doesn't it doesn't fit him. Oh, what size shirt is that, uh, Booger? What size shirt don't fit you? Since uh, Dan wears a two X, I yeah. do have a I do have a medium blue shirt, but I can't find a skinny person to get into it. Want to tell you about how COVID went over? A lot of people are fat now since. The oh, when I had COVID for that three weeks, I lost a good 20 pounds. Easy. It took 30 days to get the shit back up because food tastes, tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the taste buds was destroyed. I'm like, damn. You got a picture of that booger? It says I bought it. And a con, no, no mark size won't fit a two X. Okay, well, I'm just curious, you know, if he had some kind of size. If I ever find an actor that wants to get a shirt, I can always send it to him. Or when I have burger, uh, burger, uh, do a little um, 
video recording for you to have him in your show too. Well, the shirt won't fit him, he says. You, you can't have him just lean back like me and put the shirt over top of you and say, hey, I'm here. <laughs> I don't think it'll work out that good. Uh, when he leans in, you know, uh, booger out, and the shirt just falls like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, I will get a picture of that when I get home. All right. Yeah, if you could, if you could measure it as well, I mean, that would, get, uh, that would give us a general idea too. Because sometimes people will come up, well, I can't find a shirt. Well, okay, uh, go see this person and bar um, barter with them. Maybe they'll sell you a shirt or something. I got a blue medium, but it's a freaking medium. So, man, I do. Uh I do have a captain's shirt that supposedly is supposed to be a 2X, but it is so damn loose on me. It's crazy. So, Matt, so you live in um, Hurricane Coast area, around that area? I, li I live in Alabama. Um, yeah, so the, 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 okay. so the Hurricane the Hurricane Coast area? Like, in... On, near, like in the, the Gulf area? No, uh -uh. I live I live um, I live in Alabama where I'm at. Alabama. Yeah, well, is that is that state in, in the Gulf state area? I mean, there are, there are like ten states around the Gulf uh -uh. area. Um, you have Mississippi, you have Alabama, and Georgia, Florida. Um, I'm I'm close to Columbus, Georgia, where I'm at. Uh, oh, so, so you're inland, in other words? Yes, I'm about 200 miles inland. Mm -hmm. Hear that? Yeah, I hear that. I kind of like wind. It's actually thunder. Is it? That's thunder. Yep, that's thunder. Is that why my dogs are lined up over here? You can see the, right there. They're, they're like looking that way like, what the heck is that damn sound, man? <laughs> Tell me, yeah. is Thor is Sorry. Thor angry with you, uh, Matt, or or is he just having a party up there? I don't know. That's what the radar looks like right now over my area. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. That's Roxy. Well, that, that, that's someone else to turn biblical over there. You don't get hell and fire falling from, from the sky. Hey, puppy. Yeah. That's all. That's all the, all the stuff that we got down here over Alabama and Georgia. Uh, yeah, that's the radar problem. program I use. I call it GR level three. Is what I use. I click I on this right here. Tell me, give me the warnings and all that stuff. What do you think? Now, now, where's me gold? It's right there. Mm -hmm. The bucket, the uh, the damn thing on the hat. My dog just knocked us down. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I wore it once and I made a. No, I didn't wear this. I bought these damn hats and that, and I made a Saint Saint Patrick's. Oh, let's find it. Let's find it and see it. I can't remember. I'm sorry, I'm be like someone else. You make so many fan films, you can't keep track. Can you, can you pull off an, an Irish accent like like there's like the Irish leprechauns usually are? Oh, let's see. It's a shorty. Yeah, I'm Captain. I did Hunter wear Shepherd, it. All right, commanding USS JOS. Want to wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. Take care, be safe, drink, don't drink too much green beer. I wish I had one right now. I'll be drinking it, but I don't have a green beer with me. I'm all green, but I got no green beer. Take care. Have fun. There you go. There's your green beer. <laughs> um, and my medal's on my shirt. I was on that one. Yeah, for, for what I saw on YouTube clip of that, 
the great stuff that Scotty was was drinking in that one is next gen episode. It was actually a, a an alien type of whiskey. I don't know the uh, I don't know the name of it. Ladies, Lee, how you doing? She's laughing. Oh, and and Lady V, uh, <laughs> since you said that, uh, they, they, they like rain. Don't say that that you that you like sand because then you'll you'll get under my skin like Anakin usually does when it comes to sand. <laughs> my, oh my! What a wonderful night. I don't like sand. That's coarse and irritating. Yeah, it's everywhere. And Lady V says, "Hey, Matt." What's shaking, man? What's shaking is thunderstorms hey. happening in his area. Yeah, that's what I said. That's, that. that's, what, that's, what, that's what I'm keeping an eye on right there is thunderstorms. Hey, tell me, uh, uh, has has your house ever shook or apartment ever shook with a lightning nearby or thunder nearby? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The lightning's hit one of my towers, my antennas. Yeah. Blew it out of the daggum uh, face out of the ground. I had a I had a uh, a uh, vertical antenna on top of one of one of my uh, on top of the tower. It blew it about four hundred million pieces. Yeah. Well, if you oh, if you're in that storm, if you had a time machine, you, you can strap a a conductor on it and then. Have one 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 point twenty one gigawatts and go. Yeah. Sort of <laughs> no. You're looking at about four point six million uh, uh, billion volts right there. The volt gigawatt. Here, here's you something um, people don't realize. It's the voltage. Don't see. It's the amperage. The amperage. Is, it only take one amp to kill you. Mm. One amp, five hundred milliamps will will kill you. No, it'll fry you to to a crisp. Mm, that, that, now, one amp will basically give you the jolts, and you won't let go. Gigawatt? What the uh, hell is a gigawatt? A giga a gigawatt now? You'll basically wants. fry your ass to a crisp. <laughs> I know. You, you, well, <laughs> well, Matt, I was I was making a reference to Back to the Future. In other words, and what comes yeah. to, to lightning and thunder. Yeah. yeah. But um, getting getting serious and technical on it, that yeah. will that will definitely barbecue you. You you'll be a crispy critter. Crispy critter. Oh no. You'd be instant crispy critter. No shit. You'd no, be so crispy. You'd be so so crispy that other animals go. Dinner time. No free barbecue. No 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 no. You'd be nope, so nope, crispy. Nope, nope, nope. Just, you, they can take a hammer and hit you, and you just fall, fall, fall apart. <laughs> well, well that's like. Well, well, that's like taking a fork to a uh, ham or a um, um, shit. You know, uh, just, some, just uh, like this. Take some a piece of, that falls apart. Take a piece of hamburger meat and cook it for about three hours longer than what it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's crispy. That that's what it's like. Yeah. After it's burnt and crispy, and all you do is just take a hammer, and yeah. fall apart. It'd be easy to eat then. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Well, you just mix in some water and you go, go, goes with. <laughs> oh, man. You, you better be desperate if you want to eat that. <laughs> uh, what most animals are. Oh, man. Well, they don't know. Any better if they see something on the ground, they'll either eat it yeah, or sniff it or, or, or just walk away from it. Hey, Matt, can yeah. you tell uh, Dan how to do a uh, um, instead of that S he's got over there to bring up his uh, other image? No, oh. asked you before. 
uh, when, when Boomer was up here and you guys talked a little bit, next thing you know, he had his uh, avatar. avatar up. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. We haven't used this thing for most they of the winter. Changed mm, I don't think they changed anything. We just haven't been up here. Gotta start start using it again because you know I got I put stuff in here the other night and everything. I'm going, I like this. I like this. A lot more better, but everybody likes stream yards. So I have more bells and whistles on this one to play with. And like I figured it out myself. There you go. See. There you go. What did you do? I went into settings. And yeah, I said, I said that earlier. You should be able to upload. Some people tell me, "Oh, I can't upload it because it's asking me to pay for it." I'm like, I don't know about that. Go to settings and you do an upload. And boom. Huh? There's some things you have to. Pay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get the hell out of here because it's not just, that's getting close. It's going to come and get you. All right, well, don't let no. it rain. Yeah. Well, don't let it rain toads and frogs on you now, okay? <laughs> uh, I ain't worried about it. It's the lightning I'm worried about. Well, I got equipment that, uh, that costs money, and I don't want it hit. Yeah, he's got ham t ham antennas outside, which would act like a like a, a lightning rod. Yeah, it's like my father used to have a beams up on top of tower, ninety feet high. When we had storms, we shut stuff down immediately. I'm, um, yeah, I'm we unplugged the cables and everything and moved it away, two three foot away, because if it comes down through the cable. Zzz, Hope you didn't like that. <laughs> no, I like that. I'm just no, the I'm just seeing where how close the well, lightning actually this but yeah. on my tablet here I can see where it's hitting at different places. I was saying when I made that zzz, the puppy little like looked at me. So I don't want yep. to end up being like a guy in home alone. <laughs> Barbecue. Barbecue? It only took me an hour to make that. Now I now I gotta come up with something for five thousand. Got you got any ideas? Simple, just replace the four with a five, and there you go. No, oh, no, 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 no. We gotta come up with something different. If you've seen the two thousand, three thousand out of four thousand, everyone's different. The words might stay the same. I kick y'all later. All right, Matt. Take care. All right. Bye bye. The words, uh, the words and numbers, the plus and all that stay the same, but the backgrounds. I mean, I, I found a way to make the words jump up and down like lightning strikes. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> and not. Yep. Yeah. And that's in that editing program too. Certain backgrounds that's called loop. Uh, you got. Um, you got the in, you got the out, and loop. And on the loop, you got 15 to 20 different type of texts, all kinds of weird stuff. Just like you've seen the, the, on the transporter. I found that on, on the transporter, when it says transporter, it beams in and beams out at the end. 
And I'm like, wow, we got that effect? Cool. Oh, yeah. I hear a ding-dong going on. <laughs> what do you got going on over there? Oh, oh, he's he's muted. <laughs> I heard a ding-dong-dong-dong-dong. So, yep, that's what's pretty much what's going on. Get back to the chat over here. Now, well, Mr. Matt's left the building. He uh, don't want to get sins over there. Hey, Gorilla. What's up, Gorilla? I did give you a link. It's even over at Pop's uh, thingamajig, too, over there. So if you can't find it on yours, go to Pop's over there, or the X over there. It's all over there. And Lady V says, hooray, gorilla. <laughs> he even got his cousins there. Woo. Yeah, I found a Starfleet picture one day that had gorillas on it. Damn. I put that as my avatar. <laughs> that was funny. So gorillas over here to let Mikey be coming across. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> I like Mikey. I like teasing him. So, yep, 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 yep. So, more videos to come. Trying to get more actors than that. Been trying to get Gorilla to act, but he's swinging around the tree so damn much. He just swings so damn fast, you just can't get him on camera. And I try to get him to work for, for, for bananas, but, you know. Kind of hard. I think he made a voice, a voiceover. I think he sent it. Uh, I'm too sure. I was thinking about it the other day. I sent out three requests. The only one that sent one was uh, Mikey. Then uh, Janet, she sent hers in. Took a while for that to come in. Then Grilla said he forgot, but I'm pretty sure he sent it in. I have to go back over to X and check on it. It's for the same scene, but I already told uh, Mikey he could have it. Also, I told Mikey not long ago that uh, Mr. Goodness that I have, uh, he's going to be doing a voiceover on that one too, because he's got uh, he's got uh, let, let's just say the Doctor Evil uh, lingo down better than me. And Gorilla says, hey, Lady V. Hey, 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 what's up? And uh, Gorilla Raid, Mikey, Gorilla Raid. So if you guys come up, we'll beam you aboard the the red and uh, well, the green and black ship up here. We got Dan over there, but he's uh, had an important conference meeting, I think. <laughs> Uh, FB deleted your link, Jim. Uh, hmm. Sucks to be you. <laughs> uh, Mikey says, I need stream that. Why didn't he write it down? My goodness. Uh, did you check the X? I sent it over there. Check the X. Check the X. The X is good. I don't want to move around up here too much uh, using uh, this thing. I, I'm pretty sure I sent it to you in the X over there. If you can't find the X, and I'll have to go over there and see. Let's see. I'm over here already. Messages. Uh, Mikey Suit. Yeah, I sent. I sent him a link. I sent Grill a link. Oh, all they all got linkies over there. Yep, Gorilla's got the uh, Streamlabs link. LDG does. We've seen him earlier. Mikey Suit. Yep, 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 yep. You guys seen it? It's there. All righty then. I sent a lot of stuff out the other day. I was sitting there. Who should I send to? I sent a lot of stuff out. <laughs> Mikey Sue 
X is your friend. Yeah, well, Facebook is uh, getting to be a little weird, so that's why I joined X and some other places, so who knows what's going to happen with, uh, well, what the Freck book. May oh, ooh. Girl says he's making supper for the kiddos. What kind of supper are you making? Banana soup? Just asking. Oh, man. Wait a minute. What are you making, girl? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't got that over there. Oh. oh. Okay, here we go. You making banana soup? There you go. That's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, me and my toys. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, we're still looking for actors and actresses. It's pretty easy. Uh, got three voiceovers. I, I do voiceover myself, and I need to. Basically, um, uh, you just watch a video and make notes, and you watch that video, and like, okay, maybe I can say this and say that and make your own script and all that. That's pretty easy. Uh, got a couple new faces on there. Um, basically that's what they do. They just watch a video, come out with their own lines. And I think it's a lot better when they make their own lines and everything. So it's pretty funny though. The last video, um, the fan film apologies, where you got three new actors on there and are talking about, uh, Vulcans and everybody just, just time and just right. How good can you get that? And that's just from watching the videos and coming out with uh, your own script. Sometimes it gets pretty amazing what what you can what you can come out with. It's pretty darn easy. So, but yeah, yeah. And Mikey Sue says I'm getting a circle of death. I don't know why. I don't think Mikey can, can get out of the pla a plastic paper bag. <laughs> you want a knife, Mikey? It all fails, Mikey. Shut down and restart. You got that laptop. Did you buy a fan for that sucker to keep it cool? Because no. don't if you don't buy a fan for a laptop, you will overheat. No. Uh Mikey's probably having trouble to figure out this streaming service because he's probably not used to, to this one. He, he was up here a couple hours ago. Hmm. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's the weird part. He was here a couple hours ago. I don't know why that... Uh, yeah, let's go back to Facebook and see what's going on over there. But I can see it's uh, Mikey for being over Facebook. I still see that link right there. I'll attach another one. Uh, they didn't take it off of my end. I don't know why they took it off of your end, but uh, it's uh, and you just seen it. So it's still there. You got two of them now. And <laughs> yeah, Jim. If you want to, you could show a video I put in the private chat for you. Show another video? Yeah, it's from my own personal channel, if you want to show it up. It's uh, hang chat. on. Red alert. Hang on. We got a, got a problem here. Red alert. 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 There he is. Um, Woohoo! <laughs> hey, Hello, Dan. Soon. How are you? All right, you uh, said something about private chat. Yeah, you know, it's weird, uh, Jim. I'm not sure why it wasn't working through X, but when you did it again on Facebook, it worked fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, and if both of you are either Star Trek or Star Wars fans, the video, if he's able to figure it out in private chat, it's a crossover idea of one of the Star Trek, some of the Star Trek characters were in the Star Wars universe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Unless he doesn't want the attention drawn away from his stream and showing one of my videos for me to steal the limelight from him. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. I've seen that there. I I don't know how to bring it up on here. I mean, I mean, I'd uh, probably share a screen or something like that. You could probably do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, but it's your stream. I I don't want to uh, test the limit for you though. So we had uh, Matt G, the Taylor Swift guy, LDG, and then uh, Mr. Sif Dan, Lady yep. of the Elements. Uh, I'm just going through it. Booger 414. Booger. And, uh, uh, then we've got, uh, let's see, Booger Lady, Gorilla Raid. Yep, me and Gorilla just finished our stream. Only two go. for the Gorilla Raid, and that's it? Yeah, there was just two of us. Yeah. Well, PVP PVP shown up earlier or later, and didn't realize that we had already gone through the movie through Doctor No. But yeah, I sent him a link too. You did PVP? Yeah. Oh, okay. Through, I didn't through, see him. Through, through which? I mean, I saw him there at Gorilla, but I didn't see him one? here yet. So yeah. Um, Jim, but through which which platform did you send it to to PVP through the which platform? X. Mm -hmm. I, now, had... trying, I was trying to send something to the stream, and it says here sending messages is only supported for host. Enjoy the stream. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I sent him one. I sent uh um. Damn it. Uh, that racket guy, whatever. Um, Stone racket. Stone racket. Stone racket. I sent him, one. Sent him yeah. one too. I sent out 20 of these suckers and I only get yeah. a small handful. Well, well, <laughs> well, yeah, well, it says here uh, chat platform support. What's up, Mikey? It says, oh, hey, Booger. <laughs> uh, it says you can read and post through YouTube, Twitch, Facebook pages. But that's it. Then the only thing you can read is through Facebook groups, Facebook profiles, and the uh, LinkedIn uh, tie-in. But nothing with Twitter or custom. It's weird. Yeah. So it doesn't support Twitter. It supports Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why Twitter. I'm here. Hey. <laughs> that's why I'm here. Yeah. But I'm trying to send a message here in the regular stream. I mean, wow. I can send you something in private, but I can't send you anything in the regular stream. That's you got to go to YouTube to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it'd, it'd be a lot easier to do it that way. Booger says, "I am at work." Yeah, uh, first half of a double shift. Wow! Well, I told you, read it. <laughs> I, did, I did. I said he's at work. First half of a double shift. I'm sorry to hear that, Booger. Uh, Gorilla says, I'll be up after I hang laundry up on the line and get the kids fed. Okay. He's got his kids this weekend, so. Yeah, well, Gorilla, just, just don't put up your dirty laundry for us to see, okay? <laughs> hey, don't hang the kids outside of the laundry. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, that's funny. I guess you get to play it. Greetings, my fellow travelers of the sci-fi realm. I am Sci-Fi Sith Dan, and today I have created a scenario in which some of the Star Trek franchise heroes are in the Star Wars universe as Star Wars characters. Please note that the images you are going to see are AI art generated. Each segment of the video will explore <laughs> Star Trek characters from different oh, there you from, go. such as Star Trek <clears throat> original series and where they may fit in the Star Wars Desert. universe. Desert, yeah, uh, yeah, long care. Hey, video. been a long time, been doing pretty good. And you, yeah, now there's Galactic Republic Captain Kirk. Yeah, this is actually a very cool video, uh, that Dan made a crossover between the two franchises. There's Galactic Republic Dr. McCoy, yeah, yeah. 
Booker says, not a good thing, both overtime. Yeah, that's not a well, good thing, Booker. Over, o overtime, you get more money, right? Well, yeah, but I mean, that's a lot of work, and he's going to be exhausted. Um, who is who is Desert Oasis? Is that still Fetco or somebody else? That's a old. Uh, that's a friend I talked to on uh, YouTube years ago. Oh yeah, and yeah. wow, that was amazingly fast. Congrats on 4K, Jim. Well, thank yeah. you, Jeff B. That's very nice of you. You're yeah. the man Booker. That's what I said earlier. That it's uh, it's been a heck of a ride. You know, it's just like I said earlier that, you know, the mountain guy, when you grow your channel, you go real slow. Well, that sucker's got a jet pad. He's going fast. Now, I can see I can see Commander Will Riker yeah. man, as definitely like a Commander Thrawn type character. Yeah. He'd have the same skill set. Yeah, very oh, cool. And remind and remember, Mikey, when you hear this sound. <laughs> Here's General Cisco. There you go. Oh, Rebel Commander Kira. Wow. That's impressive. It is. Yeah. I, I like the big gun. <laughs> of course he would. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Doctor, huh? Doctor Bashir. Okay. Like, almost uh, like Janeway on that one. Yeah, that definitely looks like Janeway. Yeah. Captain, but she's a field captain. That's interesting. Yeah. They have her fighting um, on the front lines. There's Rebel Alliance Commander Chakotay. Wow, cool. Yeah, but green is supposed to be for doctors in that. Yeah. Tuvok. Tuvok. But he's, he's supposed to be African American. Where's his ears? <laughs> Rebel Alliance. You want them somewhere. Nav yeah, right. Navigator Tom, Tom Paris. Paris. Yep, now I can see that guy playing Tom Paris. Hey, hey seven and nine. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Even though I think Jerry Ryan still looks good. Yeah, that works. But that's not bad. Yeah. I like the yellow uniform better. Well, that's right. roughly it. The, the last of that video is just uh, my outro. Yeah. That's cool. Now, those were cool crossover outfits. And, and you yeah. said that you uh, put those together? Yeah, with AR, art, jury, and artwork, yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but it usually takes me about 10 or 20 times to generate the images I want, though. I imagine. Yeah, and how long did it take you to Oh, come on, guys. Put your bark in. Uh, to what to generate the artwork or, or to create the slideshow for the video for the artwork for the artwork itself uh, to generate the pictures I wanted um, takes me about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how much I'm willing to uh, spend on credits wise because okay. uh, uh, each copy of the fan art costs a certain amount of credits and if you don't have the money for it or the account for it then it'll yeah. charge you more for it Oh, wow. okay. Well, well, Dan, I got a question for you since you do stuff like this. As you've seen on the video earlier on the navigation station, there's just a chair. There's no person there. Are you able to make something like the back of their, you know, the back of their, of their back and put them in a chair like? Or uh, I have no idea how to do that. I'm probably, I'll probably have to get my own green screen and then figure out how to do that. I don't yeah. know. How to Guys, I I am looking for something like that, or I can put somebody in the in the seats there. And of course, another person says, "Wow, you both of the screens behind either Boone or Shepard is the same." Well, I'm going to change one. Uh, that, I'm thinking about uh, I'm thinking about taking a picture of Mikey when he's drinking down there, put on the on screen, and put mo mostly wanted. <laughs> Did you see what Jeff B said? He said, get that dog away from your mouse, Jim. <laughs> and again, thank you very much, Jeff B. Appreciate it. Like I said, that guy's got a jet pack. He's going up the hill, up the mountain fast. Woo. Yeah. So, That's uh, crazy. 
So what's the average uh, wait time for your thousand subs nowadays? About two weeks or about a week, roughly. What is it usually, mm -hmm. man? Right now, I can tell you right now, I can use my cell phone on that. Right now, I can tell you where we're at as soon as I get to that little thingamajig. On the subs, we are right now at 4,417 right now. Wow. 4,417? Yes, sir. Yeah, but my uh, question you're... is, yeah, but my question oh. was, um, at, at the rate you're going, how fast do you think you'll you'll make it to ten thousand if things continue the way they are and they don't go a uh, uh, All uh, depends, I guess. I have no idea. Huh? I have no make, clue. I know you're going to make five thousand by at least. I'm saying the, with your progress, Jim. Next by week. At least in the middle of next week. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. Yeah. Wednesday or uh, Thursday at least. I know that Mark told me one time, he goes, either you either you are gonna be the same with me or past me. And I says, I don't think I'll get that far. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy how things just, just worked out, but it's still well, going. Well, we just got we just got our one hundred fifty fifth yeah for ours, uh for Mikey Seuss War. Um, Daniel, um, how many do you have for your channel? Right? Daniel? Well, I call him Dan or Daniel. Oh, uh, I, I said, I don't see no Daniel in chat the other. Well, he was over at Gorilla's chat the other I day. I see that. I see that. Yeah. Well, if you're talking to me, uh, Mikey, I sort, yes, of, Dan. I sort of cheated a little bit. I did a little advertising, so mine is a lot bigger yeah. than it's supposed to be. How many do you have, though? Over 4,500. Hell, Mikey. Uh, we're going to be throwing... Mikey, we're going to be throwing uh, baseball size hail at you, Mikey. Baseball Look. size? <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's what uh, uh, Gorilla was Lola asking. said. You were throwing yep. at us. That's why I said it. Oh. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, yep. if any of you are interested in more crossover ideas, I do uh, I do have other crossover videos on my on my stream if you're interested. Yeah. I plan to do another upload of another crossover idea. I wonder if I should spoil it for my audience or not spoil it for you guys. Uh, you, 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 you guys would not really care. Because that way, yeah, keep it a secret because then that way if you keep it as a mystery, some people will start to hover around your channel, start to sub you and say, okay, I can't wait for this next crossover art that he's going to do. Yeah. Keep it keeping a mystery. Yeah. Well, just like me, I let a four-minute video out of the cat bag, but it's going to take a while to get everything done, so. Right. Yeah. Everything put together, yeah. But I oh. showed that it's a continuation of Boone and Shepard talking. So. Well, Mikey, I could tell you what it is in the private chat as long as you don't tell it out into public chat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I promise. I promise. I promise. You can tell me. Uh, Holy you know, ball size, size, hail. size hail. Hail the black hills got into <laughs> in 2013. <laughs> That's going to hurt, man. Well, you know, hey, hey, you know, gorillas are strong as heck, so that bowling ball. It'd be like a damn torpedo coming at you, so duck. <laughs> and Jeff B's uh, got, oh, he's got a base. He's, he's got, got baseball. baseball. Yeah, he's got baseball size hail. At least I was nicer. Well, <laughs> baseball I've seen, size. I've seen baseball size hail before. I haven't seen. I haven't. Before. I've seen pea size a lot, but uh, uh, pea size, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh man. I but I have seen baseball size. Once or twice. They were throwing the bowling ball size. Yeah, there you go. Well, Black Hills in South Dakota had it back in 2013. Yeah. They said it looked like a bowling ball. It was like a big, huge size thing of hail. Must have been just huge size things of ice. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. It can happen. Question mark. Question mark. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like a black mark. I'm not sure if that's... That's a bowling ball, mark. question mark. That's a and bowling ball? That looks I, like a black... What does it look like to you, Jim? A black dot? Uh, 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 a black hole. A black hole. A black well, hole. 
Well, there's no three holes into it to do a bowling ball impression. Hell grit. Oh my gosh, that's that's cool, Dan. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that is cool. He's got a really good crossover plan there, Jim. If you look in the private chat, it's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good idea. I, I like that. Hey, read that, Mikey. Yeah, if you can dodge bowling size hail, you can dodge a ball. There yeah. You uh huh. Hell, Jeff. I'm a coyote and don't know where I'm going. Hell, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I, if I'm I, a coyote and uh, what's his name? Uh, the Roadrunner throws it at me or something or throws it back. <laughs> Over man, over. In diameter. Dang. That's, That's a big scary. ass ball, man. Yeah, no shit. That's pretty big. Doug. Well, Gorilla sure has a, some nice big balls, then. Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Nice, man. Nice. This is going to stick off. <laughs> Mikey, uh, you, Gorilla, you know, and if he comes up, no, I, I said something really bad on his Bond, uh, Doctor No uh, stream, yeah. and he laughed and he went, "Ooh!" He said, "Mikey, how could you say that? It's too soon." You know, it's like, you know, it was the guy yeah. that played Coral in the movie, and he's the token, you know, the token African American guy, and you know, and then he gets killed. And I said something to the effect of like, "Well." I'll let Gorilla describe it because he was like, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hi, DD Myers. Myers. What's up? What's up? Thank you for popping in. Appreciate it. Myers. Yeah, Jim, I haven't seen DD Myers Jr. since, wow, since a long always, time. Always, always use a 16 pound ball. Man. Oh, uh, yeah, 16 pounders. Yep. Yeah. Well, unless he can't handle them. Well, those are some big ass balls, know. you know? <laughs> I see when I bowled, I use 12s. I always use 12 size. Yeah, but that's the big ass balls. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't use the 16s. I can't use that. I use 12 or 13. Oh, I never Meyer, want to Junior, that. Good, good to see ya. Yep, yeah, good, good to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah, DD Myers is cool. Oh, yeah. He, he, used uh, to see him. I used to see him over there at the other stream, but since I got kicked out. Don't see him that much. Only on uh, on certain streams anymore. Every time he pops yeah. up, like, hey, DD, what's up? Yeah, I heard that horror story while you were kicked out, Jim. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim, not much. Same old, same old. Very big balls. Yeah. What you said was way worse than what I was going to say. <laughs> which one? Me or yeah, which one? Me, I said something was way worse than what we were making a joke. There's a scene in the movie where Coral, he's this African, you know, Jamaican guy who gets blown, who gets burned up by the so called dragon. And then I said something in the way, well, I don't want to say because I don't know, it's going to get you kicked off or something. I don't know. It's not racist. It was just something I made a joke. I said that Coral got burned up in black smoke. Gorilla went nuts. <laughs> Great to see see one and all. Yep. Great to see one and all. Yes. I'll clip it later. Okay. Go ahead. Amen. I want to hear it <laughs> again. He's, he's going to be clipping the balls again, huh? God damn. Uh, I don't know what he's clipping. <laughs> his kids were doing yeah, something. We either. One of his kids was doing something before we got off. Before we before we shut down and uh, shut the stream and uh, I didn't want to hear it. I don't think I, I want to hear it again. When this kid I, did. I think that's cherries. It shows balls right there, but it shows cherries on the other part. Yeah, G R T L O L. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that uh, that captain person over there at Gorillas. Could you guys see his name on the actual chat? I didn't see it at all. Um. I, I see it in the stream. I didn't see it in the stream at all. Totally yeah. not there at all. Yeah, I do see it. Gorilla's Rando, it says. Oh, hey, Hi, Lady V. Hello, Lady V Elements. 
Cherry Big Balls. Cherry Big Balls. Meyer says, yeah, there you go. Bigger the better is as what he always says. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Boy, we're coming up with the big wit ones tonight. Ooh. Bigger the better. Yes, Mikey. <laughs> hey, Lady V. Lady V. Yep. Hello. Yes, Mikey. Yep. Mikey. Yep. She's done Mikey like with the Y at the end before I go. Yeah. Mikey. She laughs at me when I do that. <laughs> I can never figure out. I can just that too. It's so I hilarious. Can, I can never figure out. I, I can keep up with the chat. Other channels can't. Why is that? Uh, because you're better and you've done it for a long time. <laughs> hey, I, I mean, not, I mean yes. not yes. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Everything Every always bigger in Texas. in Texas. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I. Even your morons are bigger. Uh yeah. Finity was on X. Yes, he yes. Was. I found it and I blocked him. I had to block him immediately too. I sad to say because he was on our stream as Captain Nemesis. I can't believe he changed. Yeah. Name. And I tried to look it up on uh, YouTube, and I can't find it. Yeah. Jim, you're much better at it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you much. I agree. I agree. Yep. I, put, I, I, I take the cursor. I put it right over there. It yeah. comes up. I click. When we get done reading, next one come up, click. Just keep up the chat. Keep up the chat. Yeah. This is, this is what I was always told to do. You want to make the chat happy. Without the chat, you don't have nothing. And that's what the other guy always said. And it's true. You got to have the chat to keep you going. So make well, everybody happy. Well, if you want to know, that's exactly what, like I said, rest in peace, Cardinal Sin, Gil yep. Revelle. But that's what he always told me is someone keep track of the chat. Someone post it. And then yeah. read the chat. It recognizes everyone because that's the best yes. way to do it. Uh, Gorilla says, I can keep up with the chat. Of course, it's really easy when it's only me and Germ there. Yeah. 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 Well, oh, I've been on other channels and that, and they skip, skip, skip. I ain't, I'm not naming anybody, but it's by, like. By the way, Dan, by the way, Sif Dan, I oh. did ask, I, I, I did tell Jim uh, that I wanted no, you to didn't. be a co host with me and Jay, and I also want you to be a co host oh. with us on the. Uh, so the Saturday, May 4th uh, live stream that I'm doing for Star Wars Day. I want I definitely want you to be a part of the panel for that. Oh man. All right. And if you know how to um do it through Twitter or Facebook, if I can try to figure it out uh, with you. Well it's gonna be on StreamYard, so you know I can I can bring you up. I know how to, I know now how to post the <laughs> StreamYard link. Uh, he wasn't on YouTube. It was on X. Oh, he got permanently banned on YouTube. That's true. Yeah. yeah. How did he end up? But but Gorilla, how did he end up in our chat, though? That's my, my question. Because Gorilla was transmitting an X. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was going to do the same thing, but I shut mine off before this stream started. I see. Yeah. I, I didn't want the, the, you know, I didn't want the bullshit. Uh, right. Mikey, uh, it's called a Cross streaming platforms, uh, the way the way you do that. Okay. Okay. There you go, Mike. Read that one. Okay. Alexa, play Baby Shark. <laughs> Did that work? Yeah. Evidently, he must had two channels over there. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> Double blocking. Okay. That's. Oh, I'll talk with like about that one. Yeah, Alexa, because, uh, Alexa, so what, I will, what time is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's time for you to buy a watch. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is he is still on X, but he's no longer on YouTube, so I wouldn't be able to find him on YouTube anywhere, right? No channel. Nothing. And there you go. Right, He'll okay. stream on X and yeah, YouTube. Okay. So Gorilla they, was coming to X and YouTube, right? Okay. I can do the same up here. I can do YouTube. I can do X. I can do other ones. I tried that once, and this damn thing locked up. I don't know why, but it did. I was uh, well. That's why I have Streamyard because I can channel to Y or to YouTube, 
and do it that way. And then right. you just taught me, you you just taught me right. how to go to YouTube, post the link to the stream yard so it will yeah. work that way and yeah, at the top. Yeah. So you show me how to do that. Which hey, Gorilla, you don't have to shout. We can hear you. Cancel <laughs> off. <laughs> I will stream the X in YouTube. I like to tease him as much as I tease you. Yeah. He, he's a good guy. I like him. I love Gorilla. He, yeah. Jordan is he's a good dad to his kids oh. and uh and he's very good. He does great hosting and co-hosting. <laughs> well, well, that's the Send Gorilla one thousand dollars. Roki, see, I got a hand. <laughs> yeah, well, we all want handouts, uh, Admiral Shepard. Exactly. It all depends well, what kind of hand you want. <laughs> Susanna and I could use a million dollars. Buy our own island, right, babe? Yeah. Oh, trust me. Uh, I think the rent the economy is and the taxes and all that bullshit. You'll be lucky if you get half of that. Yeah. Uh, well, half an island is better than a whole island, I guess. You can afford it. Or no island at all, you mean? Oh, no, no, no. I, I get an island. I just get half of an island. Are you saying, Mikey, that a half a hole is better than no hole? Sure. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> In certain situations. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna get trouble oh. these days. Yeah, it's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a tumor. <laughs> yeah. No, it's called a headache or a or a brain aneurysm because you can't take all the bullshit. Yeah. Right. Well, Mikey, what do you think? Uh, Dan said he's got a red shirt, but he doesn't have a emblem. Now I'm just sitting here thinking, maybe he can send me his address because I have a couple extras. I could be nice enough to send him one. What do you think? I think you could, sure. Uh, Only Dan, sixty-five yeah. cents for postage. Just, yeah, just a couple, just a couple dollars uh, shipping and handling, and Jim could send yeah. you uh, uh, an emblem. YouTube and if, if you know somebody that that knows how to run an iron that's got the glue in the back and you don't have to sew it on. The red shirt, right? Yeah. You just do it that way. D.D. Uh, Myers Jr. said, Jim, thank you. Stay in trouble. <laughs> I'm always in trouble. Okay. And uh, Booger414 said, I am listening while stuck with a ton of paperwork. <laughs> not chatting much. I understand, Booger. Well, are you're on you, a double shift, damn you. <laughs> are you laughing your butt off yet there, uh, Booger? Yeah. You know what's funny? I asked the very first time I met Booger on a stream, I asked him honestly, I said, Booger, now, do you prefer me calling you Booger? Mike from Revenge of the Nerds. Nerds! Okay. And, see, I can't help saying that. And then, uh, or, or do you prefer the Booger 414? He said, Nope, that's fine. Call me Booger. I don't mind. I said, oh, okay. But I use the Booger from WKRP. Booger! <laughs> and I told him that. I remember the guy that played Booger from Revenge of the Nerds movie. <laughs> One of my favorite characters. Yeah. On a on streamer, so before I says, I'm not making fun of you. It just, uh, it just re reminds me of Johnny Fever. You know, he says, Booger! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all and, miss Howard Kesselman. He's gone now, isn't he? Oh, I don't know him. if he's still around or not. No, I think he's, I think he died. No. Yeah. Johnny Fever? Yeah. Yeah, Johnny Fever. Yeah. From WKRP in Cincinnati. Yeah, from WKRP in Cincinnati. Hell, Booger. My old boss told me, do it and like it. Do oh, it yeah. Like it. Yeah, do it and like it. I can read. Sure. You when can. My, I can read when Mikey lets me. <laughs> well, I'm on overtime. Oh, yeah. I'm on overtime. Okay, books. <laughs> 
Well, now, sometimes you ask me, Jim, and I, and I know, I, I know, I know. I wait till you ask me, and then I say, and then I read it. And sometimes I do let you do it. There are worse ways to make money. That's true. <laughs> I have a response for everything. Yes, there is. You can rob banks. You can shoot people and get their money. Yeah, of course. Got fried potatoes and Polish sausage. Ooh. Ooh, you gotta, yeah. Hey, you gotta quit pulling your sausage, man. Yeah, get me some of those fried potatoes. D.D. Meyer says, Booger, hell, very true. Yeah, quit pulling your sausage. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Booger identified uh, the guy that played Booger in the movie, uh, Curtis Armstrong. Yes, okay, Curtis. okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. Yes, that was the guy who played Booger. Yeah. Yeah, there was a line in there where he said, I could call him a flaming beep, but I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather not Booger get too hell. Involved. Very true. Yes, very true. Yeah. yeah. Well, let me uh, let me take a look at something here. Let's see if uh, we'll pull up these people real quick. Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. That's why I got stress disorder in my arms. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sadly, he passed away because of co or because of the pandemic. Uh, January twenty ninth, twenty twenty two, he died at the age of eighty one. That was Howard Hesseman. Yeah. Last night I saw a junk man by video. Oh, a junk man toy video of obscure toys. He showed a WKRP record player console as so you can say, uh, "Booger at home." Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Booger! And then Jeff B. said, milk that OT, Booger. And then Gorilla said, that's why I got repetitive stress disorder in my arms. And D.D. Meyer said, keeping, keeping pulling it, and there won't be none left. <laughs> <laughs> We're caught up, Jim. <laughs> Damn it, man. <laughs> unless, unless I missed something, but I think I got everything. But yeah, no. Howard Hesman died at the age of 81. Back in January of 2022, because of the pandemic. Yeah. Well, let's just let's just hope that he don't miss a stroke on that sausage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. And then let's check on Curtis. See where he's at. All right. Curtis is still alive. He is. 71. Wow. Or he will be 71. He's 70 right yeah. now. Uh, he'll be 71 in November of this year. He is happily married and he has one child. Cool. Oh, no, he's single father. Sorry. He was married for seven we'll years. And he, divorced and he has one child. So, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have never seen him make a con appearance, but of course, that would be worth the photo op rights. Yeah. That's true. That one right there. And I'd be on when I get through eating something. Okay, Matt Arnold. Is he having sausage too? I don't know. I didn't ask him. <laughs> well, I didn't yeah. ask, ask if he was eating anything. Hey, oh, man, watch, watch that long, long sausage. <laughs> Dan, well, did you eat anything today? What did you have today? Well, for lunch, I had two sandwiches and a piece of cake, which I showed, I showed Jim. Yeah, he did. He got me hungry. Yeah. It, well, isn't Shatter uh, 91? I thought yeah. he was 92 or 93. Well, I thought somewhere, he was 93. Shatner's somewhere yeah. in his 90s. 93, somewhere. I think he is. I think he is, yeah. Check it out, Mikey. I am not too sure myself. Well, uh, I'm not 93, but... Uh, I've seen... I seen him on chats and that, and he says congratulations on being ninety two or three, and he goes, I don't just, see that. <laughs> yeah, he just turned ninety three back on March twenty second. There you season. go. He is I was right. Ah, oh, damn! I'm gonna need a pause on that. He's yeah, I'm right. right. Oh, yeah. Don't, I know, <laughs> Trek, don't I know my Star Trek? Or don't I know my Star Trek? Damn it. Yeah, right. yeah, and he, he's he's the only one left of the, of the original core three of the TOS era. I know, and that many yeah, left. Only one of the three left. Hail, Matt. 
Matt Arnold, hello from D.D. Myers. There he is. Hello, Matt Arnold, to the show. Yeah. How are you, sir? Well, B says, hello, Matt. So, well, yeah, are, you still, hello, Matt. Are, you, are you still deep in the storm, Matt, or did it pass already? There's still some out there. I might have to leave again. D.D. Myers, Jr., and everyone I'm in chat. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Matt Arnold. D.D. Myers, Jeff B., good evening. Yep. Well, I, I know I have to go in about five minutes or so because I'm going over to Jet Nerdy and uh, John DeMarco, you know, my friend over there, and uh, Brady Specs, who lives in Texas, also, no. with Franklin. Yeah, they're doing their show. This and I just is what I'm around having. Right. Yeah, well. the to the right. Yes, he is. I guarantee you, if he's 90, he's 93 right now. Yeah. So if he can make it to 100, He'll beat Betty White. I think he'll beat Betty White. I think he'll make a hundred. He's a Drew, Canadian after all. He's and he's Drew, I sent you a link and X. So check it out. Yep. Hello, yeah, all. Hey, Hello, hey, Mr. Hey, Jim. I sent a lot of stuff out. Congratulations yeah, hey, on 4K. Hey, thank you much. Thank you. You're thank welcome, Jim. Yep. Jim is the 4K master now. Oh, he's got over 4,400. Right, you have four four one seven. You said Lately? he's getting close to five thousand. Yep. We don't. Then Next we'll week. Do yeah. <laughs> then we'll have to do this again, Jim. Next week. Well, uh, uh, we'll keep doing it week after week after week after week after week after week, and everybody gets sick and tired of showing up. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh eight thousand views Good night. Look at Spicy Beach. Spicy Peach, what's up? Spread hey, that girl. peach. What's up? <laughs> Spicy Peach. Spread that peach. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> y'all go get y'all selves in trouble. <laughs> I'll, I'll tease her last time. Well, the last time Jim was with me on a stream, did anyone see Call Me Bill? Yes. I also saw Trekkers and Free yeah. Enterprise. I've seen them all. Every documentary. Just give me a nice slice of the spicy, Hell, spicy peach. peach. Yeah, Hell, a slice, spicy a peach. slice of peach. I don't know. Do peaches do well in frozen ice? D.D. <laughs> Myers says, spicy peach, hello. It's peach, hello. Hello. Yeah. Now, spicy peach, uh, Jim, it was his fault. <laughs> Jim said there was a cleanup on aisle five. <laughs> I keep telling him that, but I don't know. I mean, he sends a vacuum cleaner that don't. It's not waterproof. <laughs> we actually have decent cleaning materials now in our apartment yeah. building. In our apartment here, I got for Suzanne for our anniversary gifts, and she really appreciates them. So. Oh, filthy. Love it. Yes. <laughs> and then All right. Says, hey, man. Hey. I got to go through the, go the red alert and beaming. Oh, That's why I put the stuff in here to use. Too late. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Hi, Drew. How you doing? He's a G. Yeah, uh, G. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold G on. Oh, now he he had to he had to redirect. That's what Resolute Germ did. We had to redirect him to the transporter uh, platform, and then he went there. And there you go, Mikey. Uh, WTF? I got my ass whooped for giving cleaning materials for an anniversary. Oh no! <laughs> I did oh, not. Would. Was that appreciated? Those cleaning materials. <laughs> Come on. And hey, Drew, what's up? Yeah, I gave her chocolate also for the anniversary. So, and not come much. on. We've only, it's only eight years. When we get to the 10 year anniversary, she's definitely going to get something better. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah well, well, you just got another, what, uh, 
13, now another 17 years before you make your silver anniversary. Yeah, silver, right. Give me a and minute. Then, I'm having a little trouble hearing you guys. Uh, to which then, Whoa. to which Sorry. like, Mikey, which then 17 years old, you'll be in your mid 80s if you live that long. Then if you make it to your to your golden. <laughs> if I live that long, thanks for the thanks for the support. Uh. I live that long. Come on. Oh come on! Most people they live they live to their 80s or 90s if they're lucky. Yeah. Or if they're really, if they're really lucky, uh, if they live I can get to my well. Like I said before, my father's turning 80 this year. If he can get to it, I will be very, very happy for him. Because most people in my family don't live very long past the 80s. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's just our genes, right? That's just genetics. So there's nothing you can do about that. Hey, Mikey. Yo. Um, Boger's got something to say here. Ah, he says, I didn't get on screen, but there is a spot of I Y K Y K. Looking at me behind the camera. Okay. Uh, Gorilla says, "When? Oh, what are you going to give her? A vacuum cleaner, Mikey? No, no. Yeah, no. really. With a vacuum cleaner. No. We don't need a vacuum cleaner. Besides, you, you, you we have a pile floor. We just you need a, give her a vacuum cleaner. Yes, a mop, a set arrangement, and everything. Yeah, we don't Mikey. need a vacuum cleaner." If you give her a mock, uh, vacuum cleaner, she looks like a frying pan. He looks like a head. <laughs> yeah. And Booger says, we went on a cruise to Nova Scotia for our 30th because that was where we had our honeymoon. Aww. There you go. Cool. There you go. That's good. And then you hear phone. Yeah. Uh, Mikey, tell me, if you, if you make it to your, 50, to your golden anniversary, how old will you be? And gold is 50 years married if you make it to that long. How old will you be? I would be dead because right now I'm 58. I would be dead. If I made it to the golden anniversary, I would have to be 108 years old. So, no. Hey, yeah. well, Mikey, well, you'll, you'll be surprised if you if you outlive everyone or if you live less that long. Hey, you might make it to 108. I never know. I, you know, I, I, I hope I make it to the next year. <laughs> That's what my problem is. Yeah, if you know, then, you know, you know, right? you know. Yeah, yeah but then uh, here, here's the big question: If you make it to your golden anniversary, question is, will your wife make it to your to you guys' golden anniversary if you're lucky? Oh, Lady V. Me, hey, Lady V. Good to see you. No, oh, okay. I Dan, agree, Lady V. Yeah, <laughs> let me explain this to you, Dan. Suzanne and I made a pact to each other when we got married that we want to be the same age when and it, when the time comes that God is going to take us from this earthly plane. So when we go, we're going to go together. And however old we are, we hope to be the same age when we go together. So, yeah, yeah, because I don't want one person to go before the other. You know, that would be I terrible. I mean, my, my dad lost both his folks because... Uh, his mother passed away first, and then less than a month later, I mean, literally three weeks later, the, the, his father passed. So within three weeks of each other. And well, uh, in my case, Mikey, my mother died, and five months later, my father died yeah. of a broken heart. That can happen, yes. It, it's it's real. It is real. It's real. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah and... Go ahead, my, my 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 um brother died. Well, look, guys, a year later, I need to go. Died. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need to go because I'll keep. I'll uh, let you guys stay entertained amongst each other. Uh, yeah, you'll play Jeff for about you, a round so. or so. I don't and when I'm done there, I'll out. come right back. Oh, sorry. hey, Jerm. Oh no, that's okay, Jerm. I just saw you. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. I really apologize. You talking over someone? I was. You have to shoot me again. <laughs> oh, man. oh man! But I, I will be back. I will. I'll try to get back as fast as I can. How long are you going to be here for a while, Jim? I'm going to be here for a while. I don't know how long. As long as the ants not here, I'll stay on. Long as long as we're up here talking, we'll we'll, we'll stay up here for a while. Oh, cool. Uh, Gorilla says, hey, bartender, two glasses of wine with cyanide? Okay. Yeah, really. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, D.D. Myers says, Jim, that's how my grandpa died from a broken yep. heart because granny went first. Yeah. Yep. My grandma went first and grandpa went after her. Yeah. 
Uh, and in the future, 108 will not be old, and there will be a, a pill like Dr. McCoy's liver. Bed. There you go. Hey, Booger, that's hey, that's a hopeful uh, Hopefully. hope for the future, for sure. That'd be yeah. great. Doctor, give me a pill and I grew a kidney. Doctor, give me a pill I grew a kidney. <laughs> Thank um, you, Didi Myers. I, I should be back pretty soon, guys. It won't take too long. Okay. Take care. Thank All you. Right. Well, take care, bud. Okay. Um, Admiral, um, I'm going to head on. At, I'm going to head on out since a pop uh, stream is very, very to start within a few minutes. So oh yeah. Okay. So, ho so hopefully the two of you don't kill each other on here, please, while mm -hmm. I'm gone. Oh, me and Manny ain't going to kill each other. I'll, 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 we might come up with more ideas for fan films. Hard to tell what we do up here. Who knows? No, who knows about us? Yeah. Well, see you around. I got to head out. All right. Take care. Sorry about that. Just couldn't get the audio to work. Uh, all I just got to do when you come up, there's a mute. Uh, you, you, you got a uh, mute button down there that flickers blue. A little arrow next to it. Yeah, every time someone new comes up, you have to mess around with the audio on your side to get to work. Uh, as you see, when you get the gold thing going around here, then you're all set up. All right. All right, let me – this right here, that'll come up. That's for your audit. That's for your video. And this right here – whoa, don't do that. Take it out. <laughs> all right, here we'll have the audio – you go down here yeah. and click on the bottom. That you got, yeah. your set, got your your ad cam share and and react. Right. So we, we think the, the mods only have this, but you, if you want, to, here is your for your um, your camera. But you got to click on that little arrow right beside it. You can't don't click on this because you can do that. It yeah. it make it make the video away. Okay. Yeah. You click on that little side arrow right there beside it, like your audio. You select yep. your audio, your mic right there, there. Yep. and that's how you do that. Now, I did hear you speak. I did see the halo around your uh, G there, but then then you left, so it was working. It's just yeah, it that was. Mikey was too loud. Just kidding. <laughs> well, I just we just have to put a filter on Mikey. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I, I'll pick on him. <laughs> we all pick on him. Somebody. Yeah. Somebody yeah, got yeah. to. So, hey, Jerm, come on up and try it one more time. We're, we're the mute button down there. There's a little, little tiny arrow there on the side. Click on that. And it's got stuff in there where you, where you can test your speakers. But I did hear you before. All right, hold on. He's, he's here. All right. I forgot to use the transporter again. Darn it. Speaker forever hold your peace. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, let me turn off the uh, YouTube to see if it's coming through here or through YouTube. Come on. Come on. Get your ass up here. Come on. Come on. You want up here or not? No? You're just bugging okay, me. Okay, that seems to be working now. Come on. Yeah, yeah. It, it takes a little, a, little, a little time to get used to stream labs. It always messes with your audio every time. Matt's been a few minutes last night trying to get it to work again because we have because we haven't used this in months. Uh. The riddle of random thoughts. How you doing? Rio is still chatting about the tornado warning from Tuesday. Oh yep. yeah. And Matt is a co-host, so he can read all this stuff and. Being a board and all that stuff that we got all set up. Uh, only thing I can't do is end the stream. I don't know, might be able to. I don't know. I I wouldn't chance it right now. <laughs> Not right now, no. No. Oh, man. No one's home, doggies. <laughs> we got eight watches. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's great. It's a good stream. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice good stream. Got a lot of jokes and everything. And yeah, keep <laughs> up the chat and everything. Not skipping a chat, just trying to keep going. I wish I can do more streams, more, more 
more now and then, but it all, it all depends on my schedule. I mean, during during the winter time, I was working on the fan film stuff, and I got on a few times. All right, we're gonna do this. Well, this this stream's about so. Yep, yep, it yep. Bring, it, Matt brings the knowledge. Yeah, and it take you know thank uh, want to thank everyone that's watching, yep. helping him get this, this far. We yep. appreciate everyone. I said that earlier. Thanks for everybody watching, subscribing, watching the videos, hitting a thumbs up, make comments. Appreciate everything everybody's done. I mean. Who in the heck would have known to get the four thousand? Who in the heck knew that would happen? Not I'd never have thought. You know, it took me a year and a half to get a thousand. You know, you know, when you first the first initial thousand is the hardest. Yeah. Okay. Then you whenever you get to two thousand, then it go and then it jump it jump up to four thousand. I think yeah. I think the first from one thousand to four thousand is not that bad. Yeah. But when you start getting anything, um, just wait till think about this: a hundred thousand. Well, Mark says either I'm going to be close to him or pass him. I'm going no way. I mean, Mark's over almost eleven thousand subscribers. There's no way. But you never know. You never know. You never, never know. know. You never know, you know. Um, you know, you could have a hundred thousand subscribers for uh, or you yeah. know it. Yeah, yeah. Anything's possible with what they're doing with the advertisement yeah. And stuff. Yeah. I mean, just, just the video. Sure it's worth it. Yeah, just the video itself. Commodore Boone returns. So I'm looking at it right now. Thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty views. Who would have known that it would went that high? That video went viral. Because of the theory that I had. Like I said, one fan film made a video of Bad Mouth Conger Boom. Said I did stuff I didn't do. Another one made a video saying that Conger Boom was cleared. And I made a video when I got permission to use Conger Boom and the Ajax. Showing I'm Comedy Boone's back in Starfleet again. So you put all three together, it's like a story. Yeah, so you see, you know, yeah. see, the one that caused the whole entire problem in the first place yeah. with the way we with the way the story was written is the 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 Captain Boone from the alternate reality. And he he came in to the reality that that well, uh, Commodore Boone was, yeah, and we had because everybody thought he was Commodore Boone, yeah. Well, so he's, he's coming from, there. Well, he's from the <laughs> alternate and he looks the same, so he's got the beard and all that's all the same stuff. So, everybody's gonna think it's Commodore Boone, yeah. And so, basically, what he, he did, he's the one that did all that stuff, yep, and basically, Maroon. A captain on a planet. Yep. Um, he was getting rid of people that was a threat to him. Yep. And just just get them out of the picture, to, um, because they found out who he really he was. Yeah. And that's what that's what happened. Well. And if you because watch Commodore Boone, if you watch Commodore Boone returns, it all spells it out right there. And there's, as I showed earlier, that one-minute video with Boone and Shepard talk and the continuation of their talk and wait until other stuff comes up. So would that video go viral too? We don't know. 
knows? Who knows? Find out. Yeah. Find out. But I appreciate everybody that's been involved in this. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Get your friends and family. Heck, if you can get your pets out there to hit the subscribe button, that worked too. <laughs> hey, Fido, that's a good video. Subscribe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> What's up, Germ? No, not much. I just had to mute for a second. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I missed Gorilla's stream today. I was a little bit busy. Oh, darn it. Nemesis Eden, welcome aboard. Congrats on 4,000, Jim. Jim's landscape. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. The thing is, it ain't, it, it, if it wasn't for you guys out there, all of you subscribers, yep. this is going to happen. It's yeah. everybody, everybody in chat that made it possible. Yep. Every single everybody, one. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody's yep. watching. Let's see. Are my friends of Nemus on the X over there? Let's see. I don't know if I ever. Were... Yeah, it's a house. I've seen Jeff B and D.D. Myers. Yeah. I like It's good to see you guys. Always like oh, to see them. It's great to see uh, uh, D.D. Myers. I mean, I'll only see him now and then. But it's great to see yeah. him. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't get to see him because I don't. I don't go to the other other one no more. So I got blocked over there for no reason. Right. So. Yeah, Nemes, if you're over there, um, pops uh, cultures on uh, the X. I did put the link in there. If you want to pop up, it's over there. Uh, send me a friend thing on X, and I'll. Approve it and send you a link that way too. So, I can handle twelve people. I not got that far. We got up to five up here so far, but which is pretty good to see. I was I was hoping we get more and more and more to come up. Where where, where the hell was Scotty when he need him? <laughs> Damn it, man! Uh, right about now, probably at the bar. Well, that's the way it does. There ain't, there ain't nothing that you can do to change them, I guess. But, you know, I did ask him. He says, send me a link. And I says, okay. And then it says, appreciate it, buddy. Just making dinner right now. Are you having the same thing what Grill is having? Oh. <laughs> Now, Gorilla said something earlier about the 3 0 to still chatting about the, tor the tornado warning from Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's when I, that's also um, tracking that storm up there. We're, we're down below you, that tornado yeah. warning there. Gotcha. Uh, I was tracking it with that radar program of mine. Right. And I spotted that thing right off the bat. I could see I seen it in the radar. I seen yeah. the echo in the radar there. As soon as I got done trimming that lawn up and put that trimmer on the rack and started sprinkling on what I tell you on the phone. I'm getting that I'm getting the hell out of here. I, I, I love grass on the sidewalks now and I'm like I'm not getting caught. As soon as I got my cones in the truck, it started coming down. I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to complain yeah. about grass on the sidewalk. It's going to wash off any. I ain't going to worry about that too much. So there you go. But, yep, yep. Everybody in chat, everybody made it possible. Keep saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Keep those subscribe buttons pushed and hit the like button and hit the, the old uh, thumbs up. Don't get too many thumbs up, though. On Commodore Boone Returns, only got four, four, 44 thumbs up and 15 down. Doesn't matter, you know, you know, up or down, doesn't matter. But I know some places, they have a video that might get maybe a 1,000 views, and they got 
150 or 300 or 500 thumbs up. So, everything is all good, though. Yeah, and then I guess it doesn't really matter. They watched the yeah. video. That's right. Watch the video, liked it, hit subscribe. Waiting on the other videos coming out. We got Repair 4 coming out uh, what, uh, May May 6th. This come, uh, yeah, May 6th, Repair 4. We're going to get rest of the rest of the Repair Series done, Repair 4 and 5. In case no one really knows, the Repair Series is a true story. Me and my truck breaking down last year, pretty much that's pretty much it. Everything that happened in the video some not some things but most of it about 90 percent has did happen to me it took a while to get that truck fixed but uh it was a battle to get that truck fixed but uh oh hell let's make a, a repair series out of it and that's what we're doing and if you haven't watched commodore uh production season one there's a playlist over there on on, on the channel and repair one through three there is a playlist on that too uh the second season of uh of commoner productions there's a playlist but i didn't put anything in there yet that'll be coming at the end of this year probably and jeff b says hell nemesa eden there you go hell 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 hopefully p-size hell <laughs> yeah. Golf ball hit you. It brought somebody in. Yeah. Well, Jerm, that uh, the 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 cartoons this morning. Some of those ships that they showed on there. I don't know if they yeah. got the idea from Star Trek or did a Star Trek get the idea from them. But a couple of those ships look pretty close to what they use on the Federation. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're all pretty much general from like uh, yeah Star Trek and Flash Gordon, stuff like that. Yeah. I said it's mainly, it's just a vehicle to sell toys, so. Yeah. Originality wasn't their yeah. really concern. And Jeff Bean says, what the truck, a GM? Yep, it was a GM. Well, it's a Chevy. It's a Chevy for the Chevy. It's a one-ton pickup truck, four-wheel drive. Nemesis says, hell, Jeff B. There you go. Everybody check each other's chat, uh, channel out. Hit subscribe. Check everybody out. Now, on Saturdays, you can go over to Germs and watch cartoons. Those are pretty good ones. Oh, yeah, spin. I tried to stick to the know. classics. Yeah. All that one you had with the dogs and that. I I had things to do that day, but I stayed glued to the to the monitor and watched every single one you had about the the dogs on there. They uh, was dog hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm if you like, want to see the whole series, it's on Tubi. Yeah. I'd rather come over and, uh, and stay on your chat and watch it over there. It, it, it's, it's more fun. You sit there and talk about it. Yeah. Ah, just government motors. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know if they ever got yeah. government help to get out of the lot that time. As soon as you drive all off the lot and warranty it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have a warranty until you pull out of the parking lot on yeah. the road yeah. when the warranty but no longer acting. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about right. stream uh stream labs is that uh the your avatar is so damn small. I mean, look at that, how small it is. It's like baby size. But there's a lot of stuff over here even stream stream yards don't have. Yeah, you can't resize it either. That's, that's yeah. 
That's cheaper and you got more to play with. That's what I keep saying over here. <laughs> and I had a problem one time and I was trying to broadcast on YouTube NX. And for some reason, it would not go through. It locked up the channel and everything. I shut the X, uh, the X part off, walked right through it, no problem. So I don't know. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, I had a heat cup somewhere. Somewhere. That... I think I think I think it was a Saturday or something like that. I was trying to do a morning show, or something like that. It, was, it had a hell of a hiccup, right? It's like, what's going on? I mean, you can hear me, but you couldn't see me. It's still on my channel. I don't take things off. I just leave. I just leave it there. It has got to walk three pieces to get to me. <laughs> uh, uh, how's that storm over there, man? It's I ain't looking at it no more, but <laughs> he got tired of looking at it. It's must be getting away from him, so you don't you don't have to worry about it too much. Well, I've I've got at least two hours now free. Yeah. Um it's there's it the worst of it's past me. Yeah. Hey, that chair you got behind you over in that corner over there, is that a lift chair by any chance? Or here, yeah, at at your house there, the chair that's got the two uh, cup holders in it—the one that you sit in a lot in the corner there. Yeah, you you lean back in it. It's uh, you relax in it. That's not a lift chair. Don't push a button and it raises up for you. Uh, uh it's all all manual. Okay, see, Ann has something like that, but they got the cup holders. You pull these things out, and you got the cup holders out there. You put your drinks in there. You pull them out, and you close it up, so you don't see the cup holders. Well, you push a button, and it brings you up about forty-five degree angles. They kick you out of the chair. It's about yeah, mine don't have a button. Mine's all okay. manual. Those damn or things. The lever right there on that right side. I pull up, and yeah. I can stretch out, and I can step back, push it back, and just about sleep in that chair too. Yeah, and and just pulled in. So these dogs are gonna go vile here in a few minutes. So they're, they're gonna go crazy. Yeah, they're gonna go. Uh, yeah, they're gonna go ape something. So if you don't see me say anything, uh, I don't know if she's bringing anything in or not. Uh oh, uh -oh what? What'd you see? I can hear them. Oh, uh, they're they're getting ready to. Security alert. They know when she could. Yeah. And I put on my security. Turn down the uh, volume a little bit. So, yep. She's probably going to be bringing things in, so. That's one nice thing. I can have a cell phone and have a security camera. And camera will tracks her. Like, where are you going? And these dogs are going to go, Mom's home. <laughs> yep. They're they going they go to get their attention. Yeah. Yeah, the camera ain't, ain't moving once it's locked up or something. Yep. He'll be spinning here shortly. Yep. So, Jerm, what, what's coming up on your channel uh, uh, down the road? I hope to get uh, a list, like a top five thing going. It's just uh, kind of labor intensive and I don't yeah. have much time outside of my job. Yeah, Jeff B says, lift chairs are great for elderly. Yeah, well, we're getting there. Yeah, but they're <laughs> expensive, though. $400. And they're good for if you're elderly or not. Those things are great. Yeah. Four hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars, and it's not on eBay. I don't know where she found them at, but they're a lot cheaper in eBay. They're good, good quality. Heavy as hell. The bottom part for all the motors and that they're heavy. But uh, once you get that sucker in place, it don't move. Only picks your ass up. 
but I have a sturdy floor where you put it wherever you want to put it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to save some money up so I can get one. So, so we can both put a, so we can both push your buttons and see who gets up first. <laughs> oh yes, I know. She's home. She's home. Roxy will sit and cry and cry when Ann comes home. So, yeah, they, you know, they're just babies. You hear them? You hear them? And you get you to see know them. She's home. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, re, uh, report, uh, Repair 4 is coming out uh, May 6th, so be on the lookout for that. And about another month down the road, the final series of Repair 5. And there's a couple things I got to do and still waiting on actors. Uh, Send a couple of their stuff in short, short minute videos or two minutes, whatever, uh, whatever day they want to do. Then um, I got, I got all kinds of, I got a board over there. It's got a lot of stuff on. I got another video called Promises, Promises, Promises. I got a few things for that one. <laughs> you know, when you ask someone to help you and they promise you'd never show up, there you go. <laughs> There's quite a few of those. Yep. That's why I call it promises, promises, promises. And, yes, you're going to have the Fringy complaining a lot and showing you stuff. So might be just him. I ain't too sure yet, but it might just be him by himself talking, showing. He, he bought a box of stuff. He sees the video, puts it in his computer. Screen pops up behind him and watches the video. And he talks about it, so it's going to be an interesting video. Hopefully, we get more ideas. Uh, get that one going. I also got a dash cam uh, footage uh, video I'm working on. What I get around here, crazy drivers and that. I haven't even touched that yet. So there's all kinds of stuff to do. Just I don't have a whole lot of time when I'm out there mowing lawns. That's a whole yeah, whole problem I got right now. I always look forward to new content. Oh yeah. Thank you much. You have a good night. Eden Lawn Care. Hey all, what's up? Yeah. Good to see you. There you go. Yep. Where in the heck's Jeff Barnes at? I thought he was uh, well Jeff Barnes is buying a new truck today. Yeah, he yeah, he, he's probably got a lot going on right now. Yeah. He got that he got that new feeling. The heck of us. We got I got a new ride here. Heck of those guys online. Screw them. I'm driving down the street. <laughs> if he's got a new ride, I mean he spent some money on it today. Oh, shit. Money in, uh, he traded his other one in. His, uh, his that truck that he had was about to fall apart. That white pickup truck, if you go into my videos, I have a a lender truck, as I call in the video, a lender ship, but it's a lender truck, a white uh, double cab, which is a small truck, pulling my big trailer. They want 52000 just for that. Yeah. And now, now it's probably 82000 no, 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 it's still. Oh yeah, nice. everything doubled in price. No, it's still the same price. And that truck wasn't for old drivers too. But I tell you what, that damn thing was nice to drive because you could sit back in a cab more. Me being six foot two, that worked out nicely. Where in my truck, I'm cramped a little bit, and I gotta drag my legs out because my one leg's got a. Uh, Got a bone chip and I can't move my leg that good. Shit, in that in that small truck, I can get my legs in and out, swing back and forth, no problem. But fifty two thousand, my truck only cost me fifty thousand with a snow plow, and that's a one ton pickup truck with a service body on it. <laughs> really? And to get another one ton truck last year. Uh, just a regular pickup truck, double cab, 
eighty thousand dollars. Sounds like smoking the bandit, huh? Sounds worse than smoking the bandit. Yeah. How much you say we're gonna get? Yeah. Eighty thousand. You know what? What we're gonna do the what with the money? What we're gonna buy a new truck. You're crazy, you know. You, you know that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> smoking the bandit one. <laughs> Uh, we're we're looking at used trucks to pull around uh, our other mower trailer. Yeah, even even used trucks are going for new price anymore. I mean, I I seen a used truck, a used truck that was five years old, and they wanted forty thousand for that. What? Are you on drugs? It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking for yeah, other mode truck. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, around here, anything that isn't 20 years old and doesn't have 160,000 miles on it, yeah. Bare minimum. 30 grand or more. Oh, that's crazy. And at that's that point, crazy. most of those, they're just falling apart. Yeah. Oh, they gave me a second. Well, the first time I took the truck in, the uh, transmission wasn't shifting very good. So they gave me, well, they gave me the white truck as a, as a lender. I ran that for about a week. Then when the transmission Two months later, that trans my transmission went out. Unknown reasons why. I checked the oil on that. Two days later, the damn thing goes out after two months. Uh, but uh, they said there was no oil in it. The clutches are burn up and crap. It took nearly thirty days to get it back up and running. About six thousand dollars later, and they told me it's going to be a brand new transmission. It was a reman transmission. Well, it works just as good. You got warranty yeah, they, and everything. Yeah, they did the same thing to me when I got my car. Did they? Yeah. They do a half ass job on a weld. Yeah. And it, it fails, everything leaks out, it breaks. And yep. Man, Eden says we're not getting anything fancy, just an old truck. Yeah, I hear you. Good luck. Well, that's, I think I think a lot of those uh, companies like that. They 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 go in there and half-ass fix it where where it break. Where they can charge you full price for a new one. Or yeah. No, yeah, well. <clears throat> and they get away with it. In my case, it's also it's called a shifting pack. It's like a it's like the size of a suitcase or uh, of a briefcase. I I, I mean. It's only got four bolts in it. Unbolt it, drop it down, put the new one up. It's got little things. Everything seals up in there for all the oil and everything. And put the bolts up in there. Well, something happened because I was talking to Matt on the way home nearly two months after that was repaired. And it was having issues. I'm like, oh, crap. Next day, I was going down the street. And I'm going, shit, road's closed. I turned into the old school up here. And the transmission went complain. So they fix it to fail. Say what? Went to fluey. Yeah, they fix it to fail. That's because they, you know, of course they always blame the customer. Always blame the customer. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. do. Yeah, yeah it's fixed just enough to pass the visual inspection when you take it to your regular guy yeah because they can't tear they can't tear into it because they only got like 30 minutes to do a do the complete inspection yeah so it's oh yeah it looks fine well i talked to the parts guy i i, I described what the problem was he goes oh it's just right here and it's like yeah dang yeah it's got all the valves and all kinds of crap in this it's just a big old block that's all it is 
But something happened somewhere. We don't know what happened. They did did tell me there was shavings in there. Why? The guy put a nut in there and let it go through and just eat itself? We don't know. Who knows what they done? But the funny thing is, when I was sitting there calling tow trucks and that, I started to truck up, truck and move on its own. It was actually moving. And I told uh, a, a mechanic friend that works on my truck and that, and he we was talking about it the other day, and he goes, you had oil on you, did you? I said, yeah. He goes, I wonder if we put oil on it, what it, it would have done. Well, we never thought about it at the time. But, uh, yeah, the whole repair series about me and my truck last year going through, heck. So, that's where I got my idea at. And that's a true story. <laughs> I almost went out of business because people ain't going to wait a whole month for you to mow grass. It came pretty no, close. No, it came pretty close. Look at that puppy down there watching me. Look at that. Hi, Cuddles. Hi, baby. How do you know it's me? <laughs> hey, baby girl. Hi, baby. How do you know it's me? How do you know it's me? Yeah, that's Cuddles. That's my baby girl. He's on the one year old. Say what? I'll catch y'all later. All right. Hey, have a good one. Good to talk with you. Oh, wait a minute. I got a message from Jeff here on Facebook. What we got? Yeah, so you can bring it up. Uh, it was a comments chatting, but no response. Saying grats and and all. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Alrighty. So that's your first time in Streamlabs, on there, Jim. Yeah, I haven't used this one yet. Well, they got a free version on this. You can try it out. I think it's better than, than stream yards myself. A little bit cheaper. Where people are paying $25 a month. I think it's 10 bucks on this one. Yeah, maybe worth it for 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah. I I'll, think it is. I'll definitely yeah. check it out. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's uh, it's $145 a year for this one. Uh, stream, uh, stream Yards was charged me 200 But I got 10, 10 uh, sounds I could use during the chats or whatever. And I can, uh, they give you uh, 300 megabytes of space to do videos and stuff like that where you can just press a button and but it shuts your mic off and all that stuff until it's over with. On stream yards, they only give you 100. So I got three times more on this side than I do over there. But I like it. You know, it's pretty neat and everything. But the audio is a problem that everybody has a problem with because it, it messes with your settings for whatever reason. I have no idea. I know one person got upset with me today and didn't like it and said it was crap and everything so they're not up here they're i don't know i don't know where i don't know, i don't know where they're at right now that's not my fault i mean you got to know your computer you got to know how to, to change your settings yeah now yeah, simple as pie yeah it's a little <laughs> bit more of a learning curve but uh yeah a little bit especially if you're using the free version it's good to have something that can double up the time on right i use the free version as a private just to see you know just to learn this it, it took that took a little a little little time to learn just like when you came up and to get your avatar working it takes a little bit of effort to get it going yeah but um i like it 
It also gives you news when things go down so you know what's going on. I don't know if StreamYards does that or not. They probably do. I don't know. I know that StreamYards is adding stuff. Of course, they want more money. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you have co-hosts uh, on your channel over there for someone else to run the controls. With StreamYards, when I was paying 200 a month, I was able to have one co-host. On Stream Labs, I can have five. Big difference. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is for the paid version. You can have one on the free version on yeah. StreamYard. Yes, one. But over here for $145 a year, you can do five. Matt is a co-host. I had other ones. Um, they lost their information. I sent them some uh, uh, to invites, and they got busy. So it's just me and Matt up here. And Booger is saying... I'm trying to help a friend get set up for a streaming. He has a small location. Um, okay, show. Okay. Try Streamlabs. That's cheaper. Let me tell you. I would definitely try, try uh, Streamlabs. Trouble is, he has. Wait a minute. Trouble, he is. Trouble is he has a tech guy who refuses to help with anything that isn't his idea. Oh, one of those, huh? And I, an idea guy, you do it his way or, or the highway, huh? Send him down the highway. Uh, you can always get help from anybody around here that's using Streamlabs or StreamYards to help out. StreamYards is a little bit more easier. You're going to pay more, though. Um, it's just yeah. what I have seen. Yeah, but if he wants to do it on his own, StreamYard would be pretty, pretty easy to learn. Yes, to do by yourself. More easier than this one, but a little bit more costly. But it, it's not that much of a difference. But for a first time out, it took me three months to figure this one out. So, and I've been on StreamYards. Ever since they ever since they first came out, so they've been out for what five, six years, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Because a friend knew a friend knew a friend says, "Oh, try this out." I went ahead and paid it the first time, the first two hundred bucks, and of course you save only forty bucks. So then I found this here, and I'm like, "Wow, hell, one hundred forty-five dollars." Shit, I'll, I'll try this out. I'll let stream yards go. That's two hundred dollars. The way things are going, everything costs so damn much. That's the reason why I switched right there. If things didn't cost uh, arm or leg and ball and anything else, I probably I probably would never switch over. So, that uh, that's my speech. <laughs> Yeah, I like those guys that if you don't do it my way, you, you, there's a highway. Well, see ya. Yeah, um, it's bad, especially when you get maintenance workers who are like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's something I else. Can, I can fix this and we can get going in 10 minutes, or we can do it the quote unquote by the book way, and you'll be done sometime tomorrow. Yep. You got it. It's crazy, crazy. So what's the odds we're doing a 5,000 stream next week? <laughs> I mean, damn it. What, I'll give it to May. I mean, say in what, May, you'll do the 5,000 stream. I mean, what did I say last time? Let's see. Let's go back in here. I can use a cell phone for that. Let's see, yeah, 4,417. It's almost at 4,500 as it is, so I think last week it was at uh, 32 or, yeah, I think it was at 3,200. And we blossomed up. I mean, 
thir a, thir a Thursday morning, it blossomed up, but I was busy doing my yard works and that, and Friday I was going to try to do some, but everybody does a stream on Friday, and I still had one yard to go, so I did that, and I'm well, let's do it Saturday, so that's that's where we're here. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good time for a stream. Oh, yeah. Not much yeah. overlap between, like, Pop's stream, yep. uh, Jeff Nerdy, and then this. There's plenty of people ready, pretty, plenty of audience to go around. Oh, yeah. It all depends who wants to watch you, though, but it's hard to tell. But, but the reason we're here is because of this. And of course, people would say, "Why you put plus on there?" Because there's more. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easy to figure it out. So that's about it, I think. I mean, we can go another 15 minutes, or we can end the stream. We only got four watching, so we, we yeah, had a pretty good you. time in the past two yeah. hours. Yeah. Yeah, glad I can make it up here. Hey, no problem. Uh, I do advertise over there on Pop's channel now and then, so everybody can go over there and just grab that sucker and come up. So I was hoping Scotty show up. Sometimes Scotty waits for the last minute to pop in. He might be sitting down there and <laughs> he thinks he's going to leave. I'm going to come up next. I sent him two, two links so far. Well, he's probably somewhere else. So I talked to him the other day about Saturday, and I told him what time I'm doing it. He goes, oh, I should be around. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. But I, but I came up with the uh, – with the uh, I put the red alert in here, and I put the transporter sound in here and says transporter. I worked on that the other day. But thanks to Sci-Fi Nation for giving me the red alert. So I do appreciate that. And thank you very much for that. So it's there. Do you got anything else there, Jerm? Uh, no, not really. Not Just, really? Just uh, want to plug the Saturday morning cartoons. Next week we have a special anime week. Oh, dude. Yeah, uh, American shows that are just uh, converted anime series. Ah. Uh -huh. So that poll will be up tomorrow. Three are good you, classic choices. Uh, are you blue on the chat over there? Let me see. Shut my sound off on that guy there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you are blue over there. If you want, put your link in the chat. And they can check you out and go from there. I turned a lot of people blue there for a while, and no one knows until they can finally come up here. <laughs> uh last one we got was booger talking about the guy that refused to help anything he his idea his idea or the highway i just add the highway that's crazy you hire someone to help you or even a friend at least, at least you try to help each other you know there yeah. germ's got germ's got his uh link right there check it out it's in the chat down there 
Check out his cartoons. He's got pretty good cartoons. I like the doggy ones. Man, those are funny as heck. I'm going, I got things to do, but I stayed over there to the last minute watching those uh, those dogs just, man, it was crazy stuff, but it was good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It was good. Yeah, Jim Henson did a lot of good stuff in that time frame. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff. I mean, you're you're at the you're at the edge of your seat just watching that stuff, and it's like, what's going to happen next? And you found out pretty darn close. Yeah. So, Scotty, Short, sweet to the point. Yeah, straight to the point. Scotty, where you at, Scotty? <laughs> I was hoping he'd show up for a little bit. Oh, well. There ain't nothing else to them I can say. I mean, I'm working on fan films as much as I can. Now it's going to be lesser because uh, I'm working a full-time job now. So, ain't going to see me on the Internet too much. So, I know that I was on, uh, I was on Jill stream there doing Star Trek on Tuesdays and, you know, I'm not there anymore because I'm out there mowing grass, but I'm still in the chat unless I'm talking to somebody on a cell phone. Uh, uh, I got a special headset I can use and plug it in a cell phone. I can chat and mow at the same time, trimming. No one hears the sounds at all. They just hear my big mouth, and that's about it. Expensive little headset, but it's worth every penny. I get to stay, stay in contact with a lot of people. They go, what are you, mowing grass? Yep. No, you're not. I, I turned the camera on and said, looky, I'm mowing grass. I was over there at LGG's Underground, and uh, <laughs> you ain't cutting grass. I, I put the camera on and had a point. I said, yeah, I am. There's the lawn right there, so... Yeah, it's a pretty good headset. Yeah, it takes all. It takes most of the noise out. Now and then, when you get around power lines and that, it'll uh, kind of singe a little bit, but not not too much. So there you go. Oh, we had five come in. I was hoping that was Scotty that popped in. <laughs> Back down to four. Uh, all right, everybody, I think we're going to wrap this up here. And like I said earlier, I want to thank everybody that made it possible to get me over 4,000 plus subscribers and watching that Commodore Boone returns for over 13,000. We're not too far away from 14,000 views. Even the puppy's like, wow, that's a lot, man. You got that right. That's a lot of views. Never, ever thought in my lifetime that I would see something like that. I've seen other channels have stuff like that, big views on their on their uh, videos and that, but not that big. Not my channel that big, I should say. But Oh, well, we might be here next week celebrating 5,000 views. We have no idea until it pops up. So, Hey, yeah. Diddy Myers. Hey, Didi. Long time no see. Everyone take care. Have a great rest of the week and be safe. Thank you. Thank you very much, Didi Myers, for popping up. Glad to see you, man. I, glad to see you every time. So take care. It says, Jim, congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You know, I wish I didn't get blocked of that other channel. I'll be talking to him almost every day over there. So... I ain't seeing who, and I don't get in that much trouble. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks, That's everybody. Sort of common these days. Uh, say, say what again? That's sort of common these days. People blocking everyone else. Oh, uh, all the time. Certain, certain people uh, that you don't want, you just block them, and it's just the same old thing over and over again. And booger says. Good night. Yep, good night. Good night, everybody. Take care. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Thanks, Jerm, for coming in. Uh, th thank you, uh, D.D. Uh, uh, Myers. 
Juan uh, Eden's Lawn Service, Jeff B., Nimbus of Eden. I was hoping he'd pop up, but he's a uh, he's a cooking. And Gorilla Random Thoughts. Check him out. He's got a lot of good stuff going on. Spicy Peach. Oh yeah. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Uh, Mikey, Mikey Sue, and Matt Arnold. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. And I think that might be it. Just scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Lady V, thank you very much for coming in. Can't remember everybody. Jeff B, thank you, thank you very much, Jeff B, for popping in. I said it more than once. Hey, that's great. <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Yeah, we got the booger there. And Lady V. Yeah, I like to thank everybody that popped in. It just keeps scrolling up. Taylor Swift was the uh, first one that came up earlier. It says, uh, Waving Person. I can't see the person, but I can see the word. It says, Waving Person. So, thank you very much. And we can't forget. We can't forget this guy. LDG. Free to net. We can't forget about LDG. He's a good guy. So... I had his link. I stick it up there, but uh, oh, and Sci-Fi Dan, I call him Sci-Fi Dan. Thank you very much for coming in. I almost forgot about him. Almost. <laughs> I think that's everybody that was in the in the chat today. Um, there you go. Scrolling down the bottom and see if we got any more comments. Yeah, that's about it. Last comment was good night then. So there you go. All right, everybody. Take care. Thank you for coming in. And be be safe out there. Be nice to everybody. It might be a rough road out there, but help somebody that needs help. You're going to feel a heck of a lot better. So thank you very much. Thank you, Jim, for being up here. We'll catch you guys another time. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.